Yeah, this Fandel verse 7. You all were hunting obelisk fragments and you found three of them. And in doing so, you learned that a mind flayer enclave called Ilith, Ilith Anak is in the Underdark below Fandolin. You know that a trio of mind flayers there are preparing a ritual to transform surface dwelling humans into mind flayers. And you have a couple of allies. You have Gwyn or Song, who's in Vandalin, who knows some history of the region. You have Riva Bedell, the gnome who you helped out here, who knows some history of the region. And maybe they can help you find where this uh, this deep city of the Mind of Flares is. And so you just finished up at Thunderith. You've explored that. What do you guys want to do? So is there? are we noticing anything odd in, I mean, we're back in Fandolin, right? You want to go back to Fandolin first? Oh, so we haven't made it back there yet? Nope. Okay. Um, well, then I... Uh... I think that would be logical, right? I mean, that's what we've been doing between, you know, dungeon dwelling, going back to the Fandolin. Sounds good. Or do we good. now feel like it's unsafe? Well, you know that you need to get there, right? This mindful yeah. enclave is underneath it. So three days of travel yeah. will get you there. Right. I don't want to turn into a mind flayer. Is there any side trips, though, that we need to make it along the way? Do we need to ditch these obelisks, or, or do we feel best just carrying them in with us? That's your call. I don't know where we would, I don't know where we would leave them. That would be safe. Yeah, fair enough. Right, right now you're well, carrying we head them back. in a bag of holding. Okay, so you head back. It takes about three days to get back to Vandalin. Upon your return, you note uh, a scuffle happening in the main square by the Shrine of Luck. So we'll start with you guys approaching that scuffle. By the time you uh, get through the crowd, your lead person's right about where I'm pinging right here. Hmm. What the heck just happened? Uh, scuffle. Oh, yeah. No, there we go. That was weird. What is this kerfuffle? I assume you might not have your fire elemental summoned. No, that's the, the wildfire spirit. I just got keep it. Because, you know, yeah. that that's definitely coming out at some point. Okay. Okay. You guys are walking down the main street. Uh, the part, the crowd parts in front of you. You get to there, and you can now see what's happening. Three of the townsfolk, who you recognize, them being Sister Garel and Halaya Ooh. and Ander, are fighting and attacking villagers. And you can see that they are semi-transformed and disfigured. Oh, some with multiple eyes, some with tentacles. Um, you know, uh, Sister Grail is the alkalite of the shrine, and Halaya Thornton is the guildmaster. And the young clerk from the general store, Ander, is clawing at both of them. Everyone go to roll the initiative. The townspeople, they part quickly, get out of your way, leaving you guys to handle the situation. Uh, one of them begs you to subdue them, please, before they hurt someone. And the first person to act is going to be... We got money on Jeff. It is Jeff. It is not me. Okay, Jeff. So these three people are like in a state of berserk fury, attacking each other, attacking townspeople. The townspeople all are running away, leaving you four, you five, to deal with the situation. What do you want to do? I see it lighting up. I don't hear you. I have to reboot Discord or something. How about, how oh, about I now? hear you now. Yeah, I hear you now. No? Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack the guy due south. I'm gonna okay. Start off with my short bow. See how much. Uh, so, yeah, 27 for 11. That's a hit. Takes a little bit of fight out of them, but down. really does more just to redirect their rage toward you. Okay. Uh, all right. I just wanted to see how much you know damage that did. So I will. I don't have really anything to. Ooh. All right. I'll do it again. But I'll try. Let's see here. That's another hit. Twelve more. Sixteen. And we'll throw a menacing attack on it. Seventeen more. Wisdom saving and throw. That's... He is menaced. Okay. I want to back up, but keep it so he can see me. After Jeff comes, the first of the berserk. The one to the west here is going to go ahead and move toward you guys. One, two, three, five. Recklessly attack with a slam onto Jeff. 20 to hit you, Jeff. Yep. Eight bludgeoning, eight psychic. Okay. I do believe you resist psychic. I resist then psychic, so that's 12. Gimbal, your turn. Um, Gimbal is going to ready a uh, pixie powder party popper, i.e. fairy fire. Titus, your turn. Uh, he's going to back up a step. Oh, uh, and I need to see what my experimental elixirs are for the day. Oh, cool. Uh, two flights. Very cool. All right. Uh, well, 
let's go ahead and get this party started. I said he'd be coming up. And so we'll go ahead and put him right there, because I've always wanted to put him so that, because uh, I don't get damaged, but everything else. And we will go ahead, and that's me that I have to click that button. You change the button. Okay, both of them burn a little. And then we will... Everybody looks okay. We will use a bonus action to have it uh, fling a little fire seed. But before its turn gets to go, I will move back to go be near a uh, pixie popper or gimbal that's getting ready to do the pixie popper. To there, uh, our bonus action, it will uh, spit at that one. And 14. That's a hit. I didn't see which one. Uh, north, south, east, southwest. Southwest, east. The, okay. the, one, that's, the one that's hurt the most got it and then it will fly uh to be 20 feet up after uh, titus loam your turn loam will uh, try his short swords and attempt to subdue this one with a flurry of attacks that is a pen 10 missed that uh, no 19. actually that guy was reckless so your first one had advantage and hit oh okay did uh 10 11 12 12 second one and hit as we well. 18 for 7. Got it. And an offhand attack. Reckless but, still. I need to use your... Do you have an offhand short sword or are you using that dagger for that? I do not have a button for offhand short sword. So dagger. Do you use, a sh do you use two short swords? Yes. You do? Okay. Well, it depends. I don't want to poison these guys, so I'm not using the dagger. Okay. Got but it. I have two short swords. After loan. Caliphon. Uh, Grandpa will, um, hit with a non-lethal two-handed longsword. Uh, Ooh. 29 or a 29 for, for 19. 19 points of, of non-lethal damage. And then I will throw a stun on there, a key point. They're berserkers, they probably... Can't say yeah. Stunned them. All right. Um, that's the end of my turn, right? So I will move down to here. I'll take my second strike. Uh, that will be 21 for 8. Then I will do Talons. I'm not going to... Uh, I do Talons as a non-lethal, but I'm going to do Talons. You can. Uh, and this is... They're not Berserking, is it? He is not. Not rec recklessly, so that's going to be just a 13. That's a hit. However, oh okay, six, six, and um, I will waddle back to here. Okay, berserker to the southwest comes charging forward. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Recklessly attacking with a slam on Jeff. Nineteen Jeff for five bludgeoning and five psychic. Then the one that is afraid can't get any closer to you, and just rages right. around. And then go ahead. Give I'm me going to set off uh, pixie powder party poppers to get the two uh, that are next to each other. All right. Nobody else. Looks like they both light up. Nice. D okay, so you probably don't need to click on it, but uh, I will at once. All right. After that, Jeff, your turn. Okay, I'm going to pull out my uh, rapier and non-lethal the guy southwest. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nine damage to him. Still up. Um, yep. We'll do that do that again hit again and me, me just to make sure i'll do a trip attack okay you knocked that one out excellent and then i'm going to bonus action disengage and move down this way okay the unconscious one i'll take out initiative gimbal your turn um i'm going to do the one that is full health in the leg hit. 18 for 19 damage then titus all right, uh, seeing that this one is uh, pretty low, we're going to run up. And I am going to elongate my teeth as I cast a uh, Primal Savagery. Okay. And I'm going to hold it until I have uh, been given assistance. Okay. And then we'll use the bonus action to have the Fire Spirit come in and provide that assistance. Okay. And I will use my reaction on its turn to give the teeth. Non-lethally? That's why I'm doing the, uh, what's it called? Because okay. it's a melee attack. And 
Where on earth is Primal Savagery? There it is. Hit. Uh, so a 24 for six points of acid. Still of standing. Course. End of turn. Loam, your turn. Okay, Loam is going to uh, continue attacking the glowing one next to him. Hit for eight. Eight. And hit for six. And hit for ten. Caliphon. Still up, huh? Okay. Still up, yep. Um, I will walk over and bank him with the uh, broadside of the longsword. Commanded. Uh, <laughs> 16. All these. <laughs> Gee, I'm gonna crick it. All right, uh, one more time on the other cheek. Hit again uh, for 16 six. for six. And then the final blow will be a talon uh, and for 23. Out. All right. After Galifon, the last berserker will go reckless and try to slam Titus. A 14 does not do it, I don't think. No. All right, then you finish off the last one. You knock the last one of these three ruffians. Uh, out, so they're unconscious now. And the townsfolk gather back in around you. Thank you for your help against these ones. Uh, once the fight ends, they restrain any that are surviving. Uh, tie them up in ropes so they can't do any more harm. They promise to keep them safe till some sort of cure can be found. Uh, I hope you can find a cure, they say. And once that chaos kind of dies down, Gwyn or Song, the dwarven sage that you had met earlier, rushes up with uh, the owner of the Sleeping Giant. And she says, uh, Sister Grail and Halia and Ander, or the three that you just knocked out, are clearly unwell. I don't think this is random. All three spent time in close proximity to those obelisk shards that were taken. Sister Grail was near her shrine. Ander often fetched water from the general store as well. And Halia spent all day in that building, uh, the miners' exchange. And you know, there was a fourth stone in Grista's bar. Uh, the tiefling worked right next to it every day. Could you come with us to the Sleeping Giant and make sure the tiefling is all right? Yes. Okay. She leads you down the street to the Sleeping Giant, which is off of this map, down the street to the uh, east from where you're standing, that direction there. Takes you just a couple minutes to get there. When you come into the bar, you see that something that feels like a magical presence is affecting the tiefling. Um, the inside of the bar is dark. Uh, the tiefling stands behind the bar. Their purple skin gleams with a thin sheen of mucus and their skull and limbs have elongated. In the dim light, it's easy to mistake them for something like a mind flayer. But they're mm. suffering no other effects. And they thank you for coming. They say something's happening. Something magical is happening to me. I don't know what it is. And it's intruding on my thoughts and changing my body. Uh, I found this. And she takes you to like a back room of the sleeping giant. And there's kind of a storage sh shed back there. She opens up and there's a sinkhole that's appeared there in the cellar in the storage shed that wasn't there before, uh, the tiefling claims. Um, Sorry, Tom, I, you went really fast and uh, I missed something. Did, did you say that she was under the effects of something, but she hasn't been mutated like the others? She's mutated. Her skull's elongated. <clears throat> um, her limbs are elongated a little bit, but she hasn't mm. gone insane like the others. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so she's shown a the mutation. There's something exceptionally powerful and frightening down there, she says. Uh, speaking of the uh, sinkhole. Um, mm. So the tiefling asks if she can stay somewhere safe in town. She doesn't yeah. want to be around this place anymore. And if she gets any worse, she doesn't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, but, I think that's the best. But she desperately, desperately asks you to find out whatever is causing this. And and somehow stop these transformations from happening. Yep. Um, Gwyn, the dwarven sage who led you here, says, I suspect that sinkhole leads to where you need to go. Can you give us any does this ring a bell in any of your training or any of your readings? And does, do you know where this caverns may go? Is this tied to the mines? Is, does any of this look familiar or anything of that nature? No. No, the sinkhole goes down into deep, deep caverns, down into the Underdark. Of course, okay. there was the Mind Flayer invasion that sweep through the Underdark in this area long ago, hundreds of years ago. Mm -hmm. And it hopefully leads down to where you think you need to go in the Mind Flayer realms. Mm -hmm. You right. should hurry, though. The townsfolk don't have much time. Seems that way, yeah. All so, right. you, so you arrived in town kind of early in the day, so you could go right in. Does anybody need anything in town? Need to make any purchases? 
Um, Assuming that the stuff that you purchased in between the last two adventures you grab in town real fast before you head on in. Yeah. Yeah, is there okay. is there a local cleric that we can get Jeff looked at real quick? Uh, there is not. No. Yeah, she just she was the one that's the yeah the one that you guys just knocked out was the local cleric. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll give you a taste of my uh, healer's kit real fast though. Okay, I'll take that. Thanks. So that's going to be what level are we now? Ninth level. Uh, eight, eighteen hit points back. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put you into a little narrow tunnel. The scale's different here. But it'll give you a feel for how deep down into the Underdark you guys are heading. You should see the tunnels over here now. Yep. And you can make your way down the winding tunnel. Um, don't go past about uh, oh, 10... Don't go past about 20 squares down that tunnel. Um, the tunnel's all rough. It's got natural stone. You find some footprints, goblin footprints, that have gone this way recently, so... Sometime after the sinkhole opened and before the tiefling found it, some goblins must have come this way. Um, Attempt to track them. Oh, not only have goblins gone this way, but it looks like they've taken human prisoners with them. So this is the direction some of the humans I've left been taken from the village must have gone. If only um, you found this place first. Yeah. Uh, the footprints are visible for the first several hundred feet, but after that they're harder to follow, and the main passage is obvious, though, as it leads deeper into the underdark. There's some t- side tunnels here and there as you travel. You explore each to just make sure there's no signs of uh, prisoners or anything. Titus will yep. keep an eye out to see okay. if uh, the tracks change in some okay. significant way. Um, do you want casting spells that are like a whole day type spell? Or or eight hours or nope. something? Just okay. tell me if uh, when an hour's up, if, uh, if it takes us more than an hour to travel. Because the wildfire spirit will be with us for the hour. Oh, it does. It does take more than an hour. It's um, a couple miles gotcha. before something happens. No problem. <clears throat> so, uh, Jeff, go ahead and go about 20 squares down that tunnel. Okay. Uh, the rest of you can follow Jeff. It's all rough, natural stone. There's patches of pale phosphorescent fungus illuminating the tunnel. So there's enough dim light to see by down here. Uh, the tunnels are about 10 to 15 feet high. Uh, the, the several side chambers that you've explored on the way are about uh, 20 feet high. Um, you're descending pretty steeply, so it's kind of a hard climb. It's taking you almost an hour to go a mile down this uh, rocky path, Ooh. plus having to check out the side passages also takes up a little bit of time. So it takes about two hours, uh, during which time you explore several side passages, and you come to another side passage, this one of note, uh, because this one, unlike some of the others, is a little bigger. So, so this is about two hours after leaving Vandal you arrive at this location. You guys are here. Right here is the main passage heading east to west. Mm-hmm. And off it, there is a tunnel with natural stone steps ascending to the west and descending to the south. There is a trail of blood that leads into the side passage. Uh, the blood looks like it could be humans. Um, there's multiple, multiple uh, trails of blood being drug uh, up the natural stairs to the west. And that's where we should go. Okay. All right. All right. Titus will pop a pass without trace on us if it looks like the blood is pretty fresh. It is not very fresh. It's uh, maybe a couple days old. Oh, well, in that case, if they didn't just come through here, I wouldn't no. worry about it. No reason to expect that we're almost there. Okay. So. Uh, so climbing up the stairs, you see a, a little bit larger natural cavern. You can move on up into there. Put your lead guy maybe. 30 or so feet into the cavern. Uh, The passage comes to a tall chamber containing stalactites and stalagmites. Many are broken, littering the floor with sharp stones. The drag marks uh, head about to where you're standing, Jeff. And then from that point, diverge. Some go to the west, some go to the south. And um, as Titus crests the top of the stairs with Titus's 22 passive perception. Jeff, your passive is 16, so still pretty strong. And Caliphon, yours is 15. So you see hiding amongst the stalactites against the far walls of the chamber a uh, a creature. First you see a tentacle with a wicked barb at the end, and then you see that it's got like a brain um, that the tentacle comes out of and a sharp beak as it floats around that stalactite coming into full view of you guys. And... Roll initiative. Rolls. Okay, Jeff, what do you want to do about it? It is coming to a Can I... Okay, um, I'm going to move... Can I hide down here? Is that enough coverage? Yeah, but before you do, um, 
Count that movement ticket to there. Actually, count the movement ticket to here, because once you get to that point, you note that there's another one of these creatures down to the south. Oh, okay. So continue Ooh. your turn from that point there. Ooh. You won't be able to hide from it, unfortunately. They can kind of see opposite sides uh, of the slag might there. Or tight there. Right. That's fine. So I'll go to there, hide from the one to the west. Okay, that's good enough. Then kind of peek out to hit them. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. It turns out it's not good oh. enough. This thing somehow senses your presence without even being able to see you visually. You know that no, no. you don't see any eyes on the brain, so maybe it somehow oh, senses okay. has other senses, um, but you're still hitting. Okay. 412 so magic piercing. You don't throw a Fury of the Small on there. He's medium. He's is medium, right? yep. Okay. So 16. another four. And then we'll try that again. Same guy. 16? Yeah. All right. For 13. And then I'll back up. All right, Titus, your turn. All right. So this is the one I saw, right? Yep. And the, Jeff's warned you about the other one, and you can now see it. Yep. So what we're going to do is uh, something new and different. Uh, and by that, I mean exactly. Uh, we will move up and then move back to summon the wildfire spirit. And as I do, that clicks on me. It's now on the second line. Burn the uh, rail up a little. Yep, and then uh, we will use a bonus action to have it uh, spit at that guy. Uh, yeah, 21 for 6, and he will slide on back a little bit. All right. And how tall is this room? Uh, the ceiling here is about 30 feet. Yeah, he'll be 20. All right. So next to go is the Grill to the West. Um, it will fly on up, giving chase to your elemental. Uh, so it's about 30 feet up to... Multi attack and first with its tentacles. Uh, only a 12, which is a miss. It actually misses. And then its beak is only an 11. And then Gimbal, your turn. Tom, today is an amazing day. <laughs> uh, Gimbal will move up to here and he will um, uh, firebolt the Grell next to the flame spirit. Uh, 19 for 14 fire. Hit and killed it. Loam, your turn. Yes. Okay, well, Loam will step out into the chamber here and fire a couple arrows at this creature to the south. Okay. First one is 25. That's a hit. Uh, or 11, 11. unless it. it's psychic resistant. Hit again and for 14. Even more for 14. Okay. And that growl is going to try and get back at you guys. One, four, five, six to there. Attacking Loam with its tentacles. 22 Loam for nine piercing. And grapples you, which restrains you while you're grappled, um, and poisons you unless you make 11 con save. Not poisoned. No uh, trouble. Then he tries to bite you, and he gets a 21 with that for 11 piercing. That'll do. And then another Grell was floating out of the far corners of the room. They did not see. Three, six. He'll go after Loam as well with his tentacles. Uh, that's a miss, and his beak. That's a 17. Which is enough to hit Loam for nine piercing. And then Caliphon, your turn. They're both at elevation that I can hit them. Caliphon? Yeah, they're both at the ground level. All right. I'll move over and um, I will long sword and I will not spare anything uh, except for hitting. <clears throat> and then I will do it one more time. I will do 27 for 11. Got it. I will try to throw another stun on. Stunning con save. Stunned him. Stunned him. And then I will. The one so, so due Lone, west. Free. Oh, sir? You were attacking the one that had Loam grappled, right? Yeah. Okay. So Loam, you're free. Caliphon, go ahead. And then I will tell on the other one for um, math. 22 for 6. Got it. And I will move around to next to the wildfire spirit all right then, do i see any other ones when i move by the way where are you at uh i know you do oh, next to the okay that'll be the end of my turn uh, okay jeff your turn um okay so this guy's stunned right yes to the south of the, the... okay so i'll move to there oh, and jeff, before you go you see oh, one no. sneaking up but you can back up where you were in case it changes your plan you see one having snuck up behind the slag tight but not hiding very well back there Okay. Mm, no. I'll move. Oops. To there. Uh, 16, I think, right? Um, On the stunned one? Yeah. Yep. And that's and, a hit. 
Okay, for 15. 15. Oh, wait, is that a crit? Since no, it's... stun is not a crit. No. Oh, okay. That's um, paralyzed. Oh, right, okay. 15, we'll... got it. Yep, and then we'll do that again. Do it again? Yeah, for 15, 15 more? For another 15, yep. Killed him. Excellent, and then back up. Okay, Titus, your turn. All right, so Loam's no longer grappled. Correct. All right. Uh, Titus will ask, Loam, you still want to be there? Don't want to be there. You don't? No, I don't like having this tentacle creature right. next to me. Then Titus will move slightly to get a better angle and will toss a produce some flame at the one next to Loam. 19 for 12, and it's sad that 1d8 does double the damage of 2d8. And then we will move back towards uh, uh, our friends over here. And then bonus action, we will have the Fire Spirit do some fiery teleportation. And that will be everything. Just 15, Loam. Sorry, I was muted for all that. Uh, Grell comes out, attacks Loam, uh, hits armor class 19 Loam, does 15 piercing damage to you. 11 con save, or you're poisoned as well. Not poisoned. As it has you impaled on its barb, it's going to try and bite you with its beak. 22 to hit for 8 piercing. Ouch! Then Gimbal, your turn. Um, Gimbal will... Sorry, I had it planned, but I want to make sure that I'm not changing it because of what just happened. No, I'm not going to. Uh, Gimbal's just going to firebolt this guy. Uh, that's only going to be an 11 to hit, though. 11 is a miss. Uh, Okay. Hey, Gimbal, this will be kind of important some of the time. Um, like what you have in your hands. Yeah. Uh, so what do you have in your hands right now? I have a shield. Shield, okay. And, and a wand? No, because it's an alchemy. Al like uh, alchemist supplies is my um, alchemy thing. So like it's just different, pulling out different whatever. So Okay, so your wand is like a beaker holder or something? Yeah, well, yeah. Because you have a wand, like right? You have a wand that gives you the extra ignore half cover and extra plus one to hit. Oh, that's right. I do, because that's my uh, infusion, isn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, so it's... Uh, my wand is my my arm, arm smoke powder delivery system that I hold in my right hand. Okay. All that was to say this. You got some trogs coming up behind you. Um, coming, running up upon your guys' flank... Uh, you can smell the stench of these cave-dwelling humanoids as they rush forward toward you. Having snuck up as close as they could without coming into vision, four of them rush up there. One does a multi-attack to attack Jeff with a bite and two claws. <clears throat> that bites a 20, Jeff, for five piercing. The uh, claw on you, Jeff, is a miss and a miss. And then two attacks on Gimbal. The bite's a miss, and the claw is a crit for six yeah, damage, nice. Gimbal. And the second claw is a miss. That are the trogs. Loam, your turn. Okay, Loam is going to misty step out of the grasp of that uh, rel and um, shoot a couple arrows at the one that's hurt. And that is a big, fat 11. 11 missed. And that is a big, 20 fat hit. 20. For 17. 17. Got it. Okay. Then we got the grill going pretty badly hurt. Enemies all around. It's going to go and take cover behind that slag tight. Or might. Uh, Califon, your turn. Oh, it moves to there and it will. Um, it can't hide, so it's going to be ready in case anything closes on it. Go ahead, Califon. All right. Um, seeing Titus and knowing his trickery, I will believe that everybody will be in good hands here. I will move down to the grill um, due south of me. Uh, still at the same elevation as me or yeah. higher up? Same. Okay. Uh, and I will two-handed strike um, cussing and Aarakocra. Uh, 15 yeah. for 11. Um, I will do it again. I will do 24 for 11. And I will throw a talent on there. For 17 or 9. Got it. And I will move back up to uh, right next to the where the wildfire spirit is presently. I know it's going to move. Okay. You see more trogs rush up to the flank gimbal. Two more of them, to be precise. Hugging the wall to the north there. 
trying not to be seen by you guys, it looks like. Uh, but they can't get into fight, so that's it for them. And Jeff, your turn. Uh, I will, Jeff will, bonus action disengage. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Uh, at the start oh. of your turn, the stench is overwhelming. Uh, 12 con save or be poisoned. Oops, 12 con save. Oh, no. Nope. Yep, so I'm poisoned. That's till the start of your next turn. Okay. Uh, bonus action disengage. We're going to attack the wounded Grell to the southwest. Okay. The mostly um, one. It's on that disadvantage, right? So 16. Yep. Hit. Uh, yeah, 7. Okay, still up. Actually, uh, I, I did wand Tom because that's what was the kind of thing. But I don't think it's limited to wand for arcane focus. It's, it's whatever my arcane focus is, right? Yeah, it doesn't and, really matter. You can call it a beaker prongs or yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it would be the alchemist supplies. Yeah. Um, because that's what I've been consistent about. I just didn't update it. That is a hit, Jeff. And, um, oh, uh, Fury of the Small. There we go. So 12. 12. Twelve killed it. Yep. Excellent. And then we're gonna keep moving. Your turn, Titus. All right. Uh, so Titus is going to move up and do burning hands on these troglodytes. And there we go. Should be uh, just first level. So uh, sixteen. Sixteen deck saves. You see sixteen and sixteen damage. Uh, you'll get that guy. And then I think it's three wide, right? So you get all those guys. I don't think I'd get the guy in back. Okay. Because it's because it's the you know three by two by one you know kind of sure thing. sure. Okay, got it. So and then uh, bonus action, we'll move the fire spirit and we'll teleport away, not hitting anybody. End of turn. Okay. After Titus comes Me the Gimble, soul is. surviving Grell moving to the south. Three five tries to stab you on the way by alone, but you dodge out of the way. He tries to bite you. Uh, you dodge all the way to that, and then six to there, done. And then uh, Gimbal, your turn. Uh, Gimbal's going to shake up oh, his. Sorry, Gimbal, if you're starting there, go to make a. Oh, are you mean to poison? You resist poison. No, resist. Uh, all right. Yeah, advantage. So, see if the stench overcomes you. Uh, that's going to be a fifteen. You're good. Uh, I'm going to shake up my uh, Gimbal's caustic brew potion and point it. In a direct line to, I think if it's a line, I can get the all three, right? If it's a going a diagonal up the way. Not really, not where you're standing. You get the two down the hall. Okay, well, I'll do that then. Um, I'll get the two down the hall. Uh, so deck saves and it just... One dodged it, one did not. So it'd be the one closest to you. It's covered in the caustic brew. All right, and that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Then we got an attack coming at you with a bite, a uh, claw, and claw. Roll for Trog Mist with everyone. Uh, he's going to move up. One, two, three, four, five, provoking. Yeah, I won't provoke. Um, I don't, I don't have Loam, your turn. Okay, Loam <clears throat> drops his bow, pulls out his short sword, and his envenomed dagger, well, not at the moment, attacks with the short sword. Um, 16 Hit. or nine, nine, got it. Extra attack with the short sword, miss and missed and offhand attack with the dagger. Hit. And that looks like a hit nine. four nine. Okay. After loam, Califon, your turn. All right. Um, all right, I'm gonna go with the close one. Uh, uh, I'm worried about Gimbal. So we'll move over here, and then I'm going to strike with the 19 for 11. Uh, uh, level will, still up. All right, I will strike again with the longsword. 18 for 12. Killed him. Oh, uh, that was four. Uh, well, I, actually, I'm just going to stay right there then. All right. Oh, bonus action patient defense. Give me, some, or... give me some damage, Gimbal. For your hostile All right. Uh, five. Five acid. Uh, you get to add your intelligence mod to one damage roll. Okay. Uh, do that this one? one. Yeah. So four more damage. And then you can action to remove it. Mm -hmm. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and remove it. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, attack you, Gimbal, with a bite. Um, 21 for three damage. Claw, 21 for uh, four damage. And Claw, yeah. 18, I think, misses you. Yes, it does. And then one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-
six, seven, eight, nine. Two more come rushing in. And that's it for that round. Jeff, your turn. Um, sorry, that poison was until the start of my next turn. Correct. You're clear. Of it. Okay, so I'm clear. Okay, so I will attack the Grell to the south. 17 for 17. Ooh, killed it. Excellent. Then I'll move up uh, and I'll attack that uh, northernmost trog. 16 for 13. Killed it. Excellent. Titus, your turn. Echo. All right. Uh, Titus is going to come back in, seeing this really great grouping. And uh, that was his free burning hands. Now we'll just cast it at first level like a normal spell. Okay. And getting those three, because they just like to group like that. Looks like one save. And that will be for... I'm trying to confirm there's no ones. I don't think there is. Correct. No ones. All right. 19? So then for 19. 19, and 19, then... and 8. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we are going to fiery teleport us away. Gimbal, you need to move just a little bit. Got him. Uh, for 10 fire, that kills him. 10 fire. That drops us out of initiative. Uh, okay, so looking around, you see you know, you're all wounded a little bit. You're in this cavern with a, a tall ceiling about 30 feet above your head. Many broken stalactites and stalagmites. Uh, stuff littering the floor with sharp stones. Four dead grail bodies, four stinking um, trog, no, eight trog bodies burned and or cut asunder on the stairs. Search them. Start searching them. Uh, those of you who want to do a heal could do one thing, one thing of healing. So pick who you're going to do, Gimbal. Uh, okay, well, I didn't announce it, so that'll be on myself. Okay. Um, um, put your case where you want to be when you do the healing and when you're doing the searching. I'll just be right there. And Sorry, Lone. You hear Sorry. a blood curdling scream coming from down the stairs south of loam roll initiative everyone first person to react to that scream is caliphon blood curdling scream comes from down the stairs sounds like a woman screaming um like a human woman yeah like a human woman screaming all right in an abject terror oh lord um hmm. uh i will move to the top of the stairs um i am also a monk so i am wise i will uh, i'll take an action to pull my bow and sheath my long sword long okay. sword okay then jeff your turn uh i'll bonus action hide before i move yeah and then whoops 30 35 40 i think good to hear there, or no okay. it's uh difficult right on the stairs yeah difficult yeah so okay there. after jeff um the scream is cut short, and you hear rending, like a body being torn apart. Uh, Titus, your turn. Okay, uh, I guess I'm running that way. So we will dash, not see anything, bonus action, uh, I will have the spirit dash. End of turn. Okay, how far does the spirit get? You might see more. You know, You know what, I will have the spirit instead, seeing it was next to Gimbal. We will have uh, it teleport it and Gimbal okay. 15, and then it will just move. Got it. So Gimbal, you can move 15 feet. And then Loam, you hear a second voice saying, no, 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 no. A woman uh, pleading for her life. Different one than the first one that screamed. What do you want to do, Loam? Okay, well, let's go to the rescue if we can. One, okay. two, three, four, five. Six, seven, okay, getting down the bottom, eight. you can see more now. Let me move. Shoot. Is it okay, there you go. So you can see the bottom now. Let's see at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, not much to see yet. <laughs> eight, nine. Oops, stop there. Ten. Go, go back one. Might change what you're doing. You see two enormous uh, orangutan like creatures. One looks like eating a human woman who's been dismembered. Content warning. Should have said that first. The other one. About to bounce on another human one. What else, though? Well, I'm out. Uh, I've already double moved. Oh, so. you're moving. Okay. Gimbal, your turn. No move. I'm going to try and call their attention, though. You call their attention? All right. If you didn't already yeah. have inspiration, you would have got it. Over here, you big apes. Double moving, Gimbal? Oh, uh, oh shoot. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, maybe not. Um, I'm going to move. Uh, no, yeah, I'll double move this time. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh... 
After Gimbal, Caliphon, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Right. This is my full difficult terrain. I just want to make sure I can get there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, I can get there. Uh, I will uh, fire my bow. Um, I will screech and the sexiest screeches. Um, 17 for 17. Um, the one closest. Got it. And then I, uh, oh, a little bit better. 24 for yep. uh, Seval. Seval, got it. Yep. And I will, I'll, I'll back up one. Your turn, Jeff. Um, okay, cool. Um, I, can I attack the western most yeah. one? Yeah. Hit. Yeah, 24 for, we'll throw a menacing on there. Okay. For each 23. Got it. Wisdom saved and negate the fear. It is menaced. Okay. And then we'll attack the same one. 21 for 12. No, I'll we'll throw a fury the small. So if, uh, 16. 16. Okay. All right. After you, the one that you menaced becomes invisible. And then the other one's turn. It's going to go ahead and. Let's see here, one leap, 40 foot long jump, 25 high jump with running start, plus attack. Okay, it comes running. It beats its chest and then, like a like a huge gorilla, closes the ground on you, Loam, with a charge, uh, recklessly attacking you, and first trying to bite you with its enormous jaws, 23 for 13 piercing, and then smash you with its fists, um, 16 for, that's a miss, I think, right? 24 for 12 bludgeoning. And then Titus, your turn. And this is the one that's got the blood all over its face from the woman that was killed. All right, Titus will move up to there and uh, attempt to produce a flame at this guy. Uh, 27 for that would be 12. And I, like my personality, my fire is irresistible. Very good. Got it. Well, damage. And then bonus action is uh, going to have the wildfire spirit come up and will hawk a loogie on that guy. He'll be just above me. Okay. Just avoiding token on token actions. Uh, 15. 15 is a hit. And that is a resistible seven fire. That does three. End of turn. Slow your turn. Well, I'm pretty hurt. And I'm thinking that I need my bow to attack this thing because that's got the magical infusion thanks to Gimbal. So I am going to misty step over here, even though that's probably going to get me a whole lot of trouble on it. from its pal. We'll do what we can. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll try Hunter's Mark on the one that I can see, shoot it with a couple of arrows. So you misty step. That is 16. Right. So it'll be just a 12, I think. Because you missed his step, right? So you can't miss his step and his mark. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. Um, yeah, no, no hunter's mark. Okay. Uh, arrow number one, sixteen to hit. Got it. Four, twelve. Got it. Arrow number two, twenty-one to hit for ten. Got it. Done. Gimbal, your turn. Um, oh, Gimbal um, when you get there. Let me tell Loam what he sees when he gets there. See a flight of stairs going down. Though. Okay. I didn't run into the, the other invisible one? No. Okay. I'm not disappointed. But with your Underdark passive perception of 20, you know you came very close. You okay. can smell it right beside you. Okay, Gimbal, your turn. Um, Gimbal is going to use a gem of brightness on this thing, try to blind it. Okay. A beam. Make sure you see, blind for a minute, 15 con, save and negate. You got him. He is blind. He can repeat at the end of his turn. Okay. That was Gimbal. And that rounds over. And Califon, your turn. Um, because it's my first day playing D D, can I drop my bow and pull out my longsword? Or is that an action? Yeah, you can drop your bow and pull out your longsword. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. We'll step forward and I will <laughs> Well for thirteen. Thirteen missed. Or twelve missed. Well, all right. Oh no, he's blind. Oh, still, there's only twelve. Yeah, 
18. That's it. Uh, for seven, uh, I will. Th- I will throw a stun on there because it's worked nicely for me oh, today. Shoot. Um, stun, con save, 14. Yep, maybe. makes it. Yeah. All right, and I will Talon, and I will miss horribly. Yeah, it turns out I, he uh, can, he has blind sight, so that's actually a one on the die. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I will um, move back up. Jeff, your turn. Oh, he'll attack you as you leave. No, he won't. You're mobile. Nope. mobile. Jeff, your turn. Okay, I'll attack uh, this guy that I can see. 16, 16 is a hit. for 16. 16. Got it. And we'll try that again. Yeah. Right, there we go. 20, what is that? 26 for 13? 13 dropped him. Excellent. And then I'll stay here. Okay. No, I'll move up one. Then the one fleeing can't resist maybe taking an elf with him to munch on later. So he <laughs> will uh, hey now. recklessly attack the elf. First, this bite is with advantage because he's invisible to you on the bite attack. Well, it's advantage on all of them. Um, 24 for 12 piercing. And they'll try and bludgeon you with a fist, which you dodge out of the way of that. The second one clocks you square in the skull, doing 23 damage to you. Oh, no. Well, that happens to be on the nose. So. He grabs your body and disappears down the tunnel. One, two, Little three, help here, guys. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you see the well, body I- get picked, grabbed by the by the ankle and just drug down the stairs, head banging on each step as the thing takes him away. This thing's fast enough or big enough to move at full speed with you. So he was actually there. One, two, one, two, three. He also has a climb speed, so he ignores the stairs. One, two, three, five. Gimbal six. point out to Titus how hard it is to heal people who miss you step away from you. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. That thing is uh, disturbingly strong. And it's done. Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to try to look for Loam. <laughs> you hear the thing receding down the natural stairway. All right. Uh, let's see. I will dash. You can just see Loam right at the end of the bottom of the natural stairs. All right. Then uh, seeing Loam, I guess I will attempt to fix this by giving him a first level healing word nice and that will be the end of my turn the uh, uh the guy will just move 30 feet closer to me and dodge okay uh i i just cannot for the life of me find a healing word huh. there it is i'm sorry like all the buttons got shifted to like one and now it's it's crazy all right you'll heal for nine no i'm sorry 12 math is hard and it's harder when you're stupid 12 oh perfect timing too because it's loam's turn okay loam yeah that's you, pretty good you are grabbed by this thing um, the escape attempt would be basically your athletics versus his strength. Uh, I still have one more second level spell, so the escape attempt is <laughs> uh, Misty stepping okay. up there. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, that could have got a lot worse. In a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Loam gets out of the way. Gimbal. All right, Gimbal is going to two, four, five, six to there. Um, cannot see it from where I'm at, so. I don't know if it's going to keep running away now that it doesn't have its elf snack. So I am going to ready a firebolt. Okay, Califon, you're I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I can see Loam. Yeah. All right. Two, three, four, five. I'll move here. Can't see anything else. Um, no bonus action. Step of the wind here. Uh, Yep, that's all I can do. I, I will have my long sword. I'm ready to to soak up some hits. Your turn, Jeff. Okay. Uh, dash. Okay. Action surge. Ooh, the thing takes the arrow and falls into the crevasse. Yay. You hear a thud, not too like just a split second later. So the crevasse can't be that deep. And All right. now nice. you're left to pick up the pieces. <clears throat> well, a let's dead, check on these uh, a people. A dead woman in pieces and partially eaten. Two other villagers completely paralyzed with fear and trauma, having seen what a demon can do. Mm. The two villagers, you think, matched the description of two, well, the three of them all, matched descriptions of three villagers from Vandelver, or Vandalin up above, that had disappeared fairly recently. And a little bit more reconnoitering here. It looks like maybe the goblins that took them were 
killed by the Grell, and then it looks like the Grell were keeping these for a later meal. Your best guess. Wait, so there was just this weird chain of apex yeah. predators? Yeah, and then the demons happened to come up behind you and uh, had their troglodytes rush you while they snuck by invisibly to go eat the prisoners. Eat the, eat the humans? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What, uh, what's what's the name, names of them? Um, I don't have it handy. Oh. They're, and they're too shook up to tell you. Well, it's been less than a minute since the they got screamed. They screamed and got ripped apart, right? Yep. Uh, Titus will go over with some diamonds. Does restoration yeah. put them back together? Because she's like, torn oh, apart that's and right. No, them. yeah, I can't fix that. Yeah, Gimbal's got a healer's kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> Gimbal can do some some, some rudimentary. Uh, He's got an awesome kit. awesome set of tools. Gimbal knows how to put things together. He's going oh, to cast no. them in. That might be more disturbing for the remaining survivors. <laughs> yeah. Seeing oh, some oh, little mechanical oh, thing try and put body parts together. Let, let's see what mending does here. Um, <laughs> no, that's not. Right. Um, it, it is an well, I guess if they're object. dead, it is an object, yeah. <laughs> a single break. Unfortunately, it takes a minute to cast, so that's not going to help. Uh, well, we need to rest. We need to get yeah. these people out of here. <laughs> We're miles down, right? Yeah, yeah you're about down. two hours in. All, All right, so we're going to have to kit, uh, bunker oops, down here. Healer's kit to... Uh, and every day, long. every hour you delay is people up above turning into mind flayers. But you can do, certainly do a short rest if you want. You can do a long rest if you want. You just might not return to anything when you get back. Yeah, I say short rest, but are, are we going to leave these people down here or send them back? or? I uh, suppose I'm the uh, only one who's beaten up, so... Did you get my uh, healer's kit there? Uh, uh, no, I did not. Uh, 16 hit points back. Nice. So we and can then, press on if we must. I got a potion of greater healing you can have. Um, I don't know. Would you like that? Or just feel like you're super low and I need you to tank for me? I think, we, I mean, a short rest is only, what, an hour? Yeah. Yep. I think yeah. we get a lot out of a short rest right now. Okay, let's do it. I'll keep watch because I don't need it. I'll, I'll console the uh, the humans. It's the weirdest thing. I'm not seeing a health bar under Caliphon, but I'm not sure why. Do you guys see a health bar in there? Yep. All yeah. Right. I might need to reload. Yeah. That's, I've never seen that before. The health bar disappeared for me, but no one else. Okay, so you got these two humans that are alive to care for. Uh, what else you want to do while you're here? You do a rest, or you don't do a rest. What else? Or do you do a rest? We did a short do rest. A short rest, okay. And then what else you want to do? I did a... Uh... Second win before the short rest, but okay. anything else, guys? Uh, I think we just check to see if there's any other secrets. Okay, look all around, searching the place ah. while resting. the uh, The chasm that the uh, other demon fell down into it's about fifteen feet wide, about thirty feet deep. Um, not too difficult to climb. You notice down there a uh, silver glittering underneath the demon's body. Let's investigate. Okay. Yeah, I can run down Climbing there. down there, you find a book underneath the demon. Um, and this book looks like this. It's got a silver book plate that is uh, titled Thorgran Iron Quill Historian. That's probably worth about 900 gold. Uh, the journal's well made. Some of the pages have decayed, but a few are still legible. You can read that during the short rest. Only the first few pages of the journal remain. They include rumors of rising mind flayer activity beneath the Sword Mountains. Talks about the journal's author planning to spy on a mind flayer stronghold called Illithanok, deep underground. The author hopes this info will allow him to warn nearby dwarven enclaves, including the Temple of Talhendereth. Evidently, that warning never came because they were overrun by mind flayers. So you take that book. You also find um, the demon has a strange object that he was carrying or that's like tucked into a uh, like a belt that he had it's a branch a silver branch with several bells on it it is magical but it take identify to tell you what exactly it is but you have a short rest so you can try and do that that way um it is a magic item called gimbal has identified for what it's worth oh nice called a bell branch usable by Druids and warlocks. You can use it to identify the presence of the same things that Protection from Evil works on. And it can also be used to cast Protection from Evil 
three times per day, and it recharges D3 charges every day. That's a bell branch. You can look that up in d and Beyond for the details. And that's it. That's all you find in this, this, this complex here. And it's a good time for a break. 20 after. Let's come back at uh, 35 after. All right, so your short rest finishes. And you've explored the caverns here. What is your plans? Well, we've saved the people, at least what's left of them. Does it seem like they regained enough that they can walk themselves out, or are we going to have to escort them the whole time? Um, they're just villagers, so that's up to you. It's pitch dark yeah. down here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just let's escort them. <laughs> like they'll, they'll they'll just stay behind us, and we'll just do our best to protect them. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So you Something head back to the tunnels, really? and you continue your descent. We'll wait for the next the next troglodytes to ambush us. So they there have to go. get through those guys first. That's right. <laughs> Maybe don't have them follow the party. Maybe put them in the middle of the party if you actually care. No. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you continue on down, and it is another several hours. Let's see here. Three hours. You traverse maybe about three miles worth of the caverns as they descend and descend and descend, and multiple side passage w- passages on, on them, which you check out for more, you know, lost villagers and such. And you come to one where, uh, which you, okay, uh, the passage opening is on your right, and there's a big cave mouth about 20 feet across. The stone is badly scoured and scorched. The smell of ozone hangs in the air. A wide passage leads to the east. And the main passage continues north. Did we see any tracks on the way to this one? Um, go ahead and do a s- survival check. It's a strong 13. Anyone else trained in survival? Um, uh, nope. No man, is, right? I imagine. Trained in survival? Yeah, absolutely. Even rolling a 1 on the die, it's still at 11. But, oh wait, you have advantage on tracking aberrations and fiends. Mm-hmm. No aberration or fiends tracks. Okay. Okay. There's definitely nothing to find here. But you do note the scorch marks, the smell of ozone. Hmm. Okay. What do you guys so want? So you said the main passage continues north? Uh-huh. But it's it's, it's gone well, east go and east. west and south and north. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. It's All circling right. as it descends, for sure. Let us be cautious and check it out. We will head east. All right. Cautiously. You can stop there, Jeff. Ooh. Everyone go ahead and put you guys where you want to be as soon as Jeff gets around that corner. Okay. Be right behind you. Right there. I'll, I'm assuming the villagers will be like right there. So we're kind of performing a kind of little protective cover around them. In the pocket. <laughs> okay. Like, what do you say? There. Perfect. <laughs> Hiding against the wall. Okay. Jeff, you see a enormous nest of crushed rocks, uh, reptile scales, lightning scoured bones, occupying a depression in the northwest wall. Resting there is a massive serpentine monster. Okay. Uh, I will <clears throat> tell everyone to stop. <clears throat> the monster uh, says in Draconic, um, you can help me. To you, Jeff. Do you speak Dracon- Draconic? I do not. Anyone behind Jeff understand Draconic? Uh, I uh, was the servant of a dragon for a while, so I feel like I probably know it. <laughs> You've definitely heard it. Whether or not you understand it, you're not sure. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you probably don't understand it, but you've heard that sound before. That's for sure. So Maybe no one, one of the villagers. So no one speaks to No, they don't. No, no one speaks Draconic? No, I do not. He looks at you, cocks his head to the side a little, waiting for an answer. Mm. I, I wave. <laughs> I uh, holler out in Gnomish. Does he understand me? He does not seem to understand Gnomish. He slithers um, out of his nest, getting closer. I'll try Dwarvish. I will say greetings and salutation. He does understand Dwarvish. Mm. What about Colin? Titus? What's Titus want to say? Titus will attempt to communicate in uh, Primordial. Primordial, okay. Doesn't understand. Aweep, Granaweep, Minibon. Still doesn't understand. Common? Common, no. Slithers right up next to Jeff and kind of looks at Jeff, cocks his head to the side, and then, Jeff, you uh, note something's about to happen, so roll initiative. (laughs) 
I mean, don't do monks any, speak uh, all languages? Do any of the townsfolk speak uh, Draconic? Draconic? No. They might know as many words as Skimble does, though. <laughs> all right. So, Jeff, before this thing can bite you and gulp you down, uh, Caliphon comes to your rescue. All right. I will uh, move around. I will slap it across the jaw. Um, my best impression. My long sword. Oh, 19 for 6. 19 bites into its uh, thick scales and does 6 damage to it. And I will stun this creature. Stunning check on saving throw. 22. I will it. not. I will smack it on the back swing. That's a, a 24 for 8. And then I will turn around and kick it as I run back. Ah, uh, that missed. I will miss because I was backwards. Jeff, your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try this uh, newfangled mud slick tower, if I can. Yep, that's an action. You throw it out Ooh. to the ground, click the button. I think he gets a con saving throw, which he fails. He'll take the full damage. You get pushed back 20 feet away from you. Holy cow. Click the button yeah. right here instead. Uh, ooh, 70 damage to him. <coughs> then, after Jeff, you can move your way you want. Titus, your turn. Well, um, I was going to go in the tower if I could, because it, it uh, creates yeah. a door yeah, you go facing me. Bonus action opens the door, and then I can move inside. Yeah, you go wherever you want. Okay. Titus, your turn. Uh, Titus thinks that tower is pretty neat. Go ahead and draw the tower for us, Jeff. The yep. door should be in the middle of a wall, and the one wall's against the, the rock there, so put the door here. Whoops. And then, uh, being that this is a mudslick tower and this is a natural cavern, it'll kind of like tilt to the side and merge with that rock wall behind you there. <laughs> All right, and put a door in the middle of the south wall. Titus, go ahead and finish your movement. Uh, yeah, Titus will go, I guess it's a, it's a bonus action to open the door. Uh, the door is open. Yeah, so the door the door is open. Yeah, I you it can't do anything with it. It's just sitting open right okay. now. Okay, gotcha. Then Titus will at least go into there, and there's windows, right? Uh, up on yep. the second floor. All right. Uh, well, then, uh, we would use a... I didn't have to use a bonus action, so sure. We will go ahead and just call the Wildfire Spirit on our way in. And so uh, that would be on the second row of things now. So he will pop up. Oh, dang it, I lost him in the uh, darkness. I'm moving Titus back so I can see. Here. There you go. Don't worry, oh, there you go. All right. Uh, so we will just pop him out right there. Okay. And let him make the deck save. Made it. She does and takes nothing. And then the wildfire spirit will... Hawk a loogie at him. Uh, 23 for 7. 25. Math is hard. Got it. And then we will just move slightly around and it will end turn. Uh, commoner is cowering there. Loam. Hey, Loam will um, take a chance at uh, casting Hunter's Mark on it. Shooting it with a couple of arrows. That is a 13. 13 miss. Bounces off its hide. That hit. And a 23 or 14. It seems to be vulnerable to Psychic, too, so that does 16. And then I'm not going to make it easy on it. I'll move around the corner. And then Gimbal, your turn. All right. One, two. There. And I don't have anything that does Psychic damage. So Gimbal's just going to... It's already looking pretty beat up, so Gimbal's just going to fire bullet. Uh, 18 for 14. Move back over right. here. It's turn. It has a speed of climb speed of oh sorry, a speed of 50. Okay, and climb speed of 40. So, so it'll come to there, provoking from the fire spirit if it has reactions. Nope. Uh, breathe lightning on Loam and Caliphon. Seven. I'll uh, give a. Um, well, both of you have good deck there. 103 okay. lightning damage to the two of you. Holy. Holy crap. Crap. 16 deck save for uh, half. I am going to give um, Caliphon a flash of genius. Uh, um, yeah. So plus 40 years result. Well, I'm going to still use my uh, I'm going to still use my inspiration though. Uh, what does Agile do? No, what's the, don't I have uh, Swish Feats? 
it'll say it on your deck save when you hit your dex button. Okay. You have evasion, I think. Not evasion. Uh, evasion. Yeah, evasion. So thank goodness I used inspiration. That means you take so, zero damage. Zero wow. damage. Golly, but my but 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 I lose a bunch of my hair. Like a bunch of my feathers fall <laughs> off. Like electrolysis. Or they're electrified, so you're like the uh Native American Thunderbird now. That's yeah. Like static. Wherever <laughs> I go, I just touch. Uh Loam, how do you do? You mean you did save, huh? Yep. I'm not. Loam takes 103. Okay. That was uh dang four, it. Four, five, six, seven, oh, make eight, nine, forward. ten. There. Okay. It moves to there and breathes and is done. The other commenter uh disengages to the corner. And Bonus then action disengage. Califon, your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could save you, my friend, but I must save you through the only way I know how. Um, I will long sword for twelve. Yes, I will miss. Um, uh, I will throw two key points on there to get it to eighteen. Eighteen and hit. eighteen for seven, and then I will hit it again with the long sword because I spent. 26 for 6, and then I will move around. Do I have to run all the way around it, or can I go through it? Or I want you to go around the it. corner. You can move through it. It's typical terrain. All right. 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. I'll go on the other side. Of the... And Jeff, your turn. Okay, I'm going to move to the uh, second floor. You probably want to yeah. stay on the ground floor and shoot out the doorway. The arrow slits don't really give you a wide field oh. of view. Okay. Imagine each of them being like a 45 degree angle. Out the side they can okay. shoot from. But so, the doorway, yeah. you can hit them. There we go. And Or the roof. You can go all the way to the roof and shoot them from there. No, I think I'm good here. Let's do this one. Ooh. Uh, let me decision attack that. So, well, 15. 15 missed. Yeah. Uh, oh. Precision attack that, too. That might hit. That hit. All right. 15 Four. magic piercing. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Got it. And, and it's your turn. Move away from the door. So you Titus, can't. your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to move out. We are going to produce a flame. Uh, 28 for... That will be a little bit more. 16 fire? 16, yes. Got that's it. That's what I meant. And then uh, we will go back in, and bonus action, we will have the fire spirit, uh, Hakalugi. 20 and for 9. Finished it. Yay. It falls dead. Oh, if only, if only, like you could learn to communicate in an understandable language by decent people. <laughs> I didn't try druidic, guys. I'm sorry. I will uh, feed uh, Loam uh, potion greater healing. Uh, healer's kit for another sixteen on top of that. Hey Loam, you want me to kind of uh, channel some healing into you? I could use anything I can get. That way, you know, we can't keep just taking short rests. So, right. All right. Uh. As you guys are helping them, you hear something up above. You look and you see a grill up here observing you. And you hear them talking in whatever their language is, which I'm pretty sure none of you speak grell, right? Grell? No. Grell. <laughs> it's a specific language? No. It is its own yeah, specific no, I, language. I, we did not take I, a draconic. We took grell, all of us. Yeah. I, <laughs> I only took conversational grill. <laughs> uh, this yeah, guy, I got, to, I got I, to grill too. He is clearly, uh, yeah, con- I, yeah. he's clearly conversing with another grill that you don't see. Um, you don't know what they're talking about, but they're having a conversation up there, and they've obviously seen you because he looks back at you every now and then. Well, you know, if he likes to watch, I mean, let's just go in the tower and do this healing. Okay, you want to take everyone in the tower? Shut the door. Shut it. Okay, and. Man, the villagers would be pretty safe here if you left them here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that, but then... <laughs> That's one safe way to leave them. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, we'll do some healing. Uh, let's see. As you're watching outside only the... only loam, right? Yeah, as you're watching outside the arrow slits while you're healing up, you note um, a, a pack of, well, three grell. One of them, like, with, like, waves of psychic energy above its head. Uh, check, it, check out this tower. And they're having conversations amongst themselves. And they're looking at the body of the um, Bahir. You guys, 
don't know if any of you are old enough to remember Sesame Street with the guys that hear the phone ring. No. Yep. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's what yeah, they're doing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. So that's what they're doing as they converse and go back and forth and kind of look at the tower and they fly up and down it. At any time, you can shoot at one of them if you want. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of hanging out trying to figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, you guys can heal up. All right. Well, that takes a minute. So you get a grand total of 70 hit points back, Loam. Nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> Clearly. So, Loam, you get healed up. You guys can... What do you want to do? You guys want to just uh, uh, try to pepper these guys from the arrow slits? Sure. Okay. Yeah, they will retreat pretty quick, but you, you wound them pretty bad before they go retreating north. You might even kill one of them. But they retreat uh, away from the shots. Up a flight of stairs to the north. I mean, this maybe this is just me, but I think, Gimbal, maybe we lead with that next time. You know, just pop this thing up on people and then just all run in it. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah, so, uh, we, that's, so that's the debate, is leave it here for the villagers or and move on, or take it with us and pop it up whenever we get into... Is it, how, like, is it limited, the number of times you can do it? No, I don't think so. I don't see anything about charges. It's just a uh, action to throw it out, and then bonus action to open the door. Yeah, I love this idea. <laughs> I say do it. Uh, it's almost like the universe would find a way to punish us for that, though. Yeah... I just, uh, you know, everybody has that bonus Rask, um, you know, stat block just sitting in there. But um, <laughs> it might be an interesting way to, I might vote, if, if I was given a vote, if we voted, I, it might be a good thing to lock them in here. I, I thought that wasn't a horrible suggestion. And then just move along. Then I'm up to, it's a team vote. Well, something could get into it. That, like, I'd be worried about something getting into the tower. Um, no, nothing no. nothing if it's merged with natural stone it's impervious to all damage and only i can open the door well, let's just leave it i think that's correct i think well i guess the issue could be something could teleport in that's true and be if like that's the case then they the earned the villagers and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if something could teleport into a magical tower uh then they have earned and that's just one high level spell slot that they've expended. So. Well, so I say teleport, but you know, you can misty step. That's a teleport. Oh. Yeah, it's not very high level. You can you can, you know, I I can technically if we're flying or something or somebody like boosts us up, like my my spirit can teleport us into the tower because you can see through the arrows. I still I mean, I think it's the best, but I mean, if we leave it's, it here, something would have to wander by mm-hmm. that can but do one, that. I don't think it's I, I just don't know that it's that big of a deal to just pop it if needed. Right. Okay. Then we have then we then we have the use of it still too. Um well I think we're worried about the wrath of <laughs> the DM. But oh. huh? I mean I'll go. No, let's just stay with us. I mean, we can always change our mind as time goes on. They they might get start to whine and we just might want to just throw them in there anyways, right? So <laughs> Well, then everybody's got to get out so I can uh, shrink it. All right. Well, I guess we're heading let's, north to deal with those grell. Yeah. Okay. Let's the yep, 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 yep. For a second to see if they come. And oh, yeah. After you take it, it down. It looks like they were not spying on it or you. Okay. Well, we searched, definitely searched this Bayer Nester. Okay. A careful search of the Bayer Nest. You find some gold feathers, uh, quite a few scattered coins in there. And some Kyotum's ointment as well, to the tune of four charges and a jar of ointment. I'll give the skull feathers to uh, Caliphon to replace them. <laughs> I'll like scotch tape them on. I'm whole. Uh, shrink up the tower and then I guess, yeah, head north. All right. Go ahead and put you guys uh, around the nest after you just after you shrink up the tower. Excuse me. The villagers will be uh, hanging out. Who do, they, who do you want the villagers to be standing by all the time? Got a preference? Talk their ear off. All right. Um, you hear some cursing coming from the west. Uh, giant footsteps coming. Um, just like horrendous things and giantish being said. And uh, as this sound is approaching, you see one of these guys pop its head down into view and roll initiative. You can just see a giant's foot when you get to there. 
Okay. You only out. hear a bunch of uh, curse words that you've never heard before. Seems angry. Um, that's a hit for 15. Now you're pretty confident it's uh, hostile. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, let's try that again. Oh, yeah, and we'll, uh, menacing attack that. 19 so. and 5 is 24. And wisdom save, uh, menaced. And, uh, I'll move. After Jeff. Section hide. Comes. Two, three, six, and one. Okay, this can get, um, Caliphon and Titus and Loam, the two villagers, and Gimbal. As this um, Grail Psychic flies down the stairs and uses Confusion. Well, it's only 10-foot radius. Um, so it's going to not get Titus. All the same people I just said, but not Titus. Okay, so you got 12 Wisdom save, or you're going to become confused. I'm going to use Flash of Genius on myself. Okay. So that will make that a success. Uh, first time I think that my Flash of Genius has actually turned a fail into a success. Nice. I'm pretty good about that. Uh, villager one made it. Villager two made it. Only person confused, I think, is the bird man. Okay, for confused, he's done. Yeah. Wait, Titus, we're not sure if that was the grell or if it's early onset dementia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon, too soon. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, you know, this guy, uh, is not great. So, what we're going to do is how about i say i think let's divide and conquer does that make sense guys oh absolutely spread damage that's always a successful okay. well i was <laughs> i was more just gonna keep them back for a minute yeah if we could if we could like keep them out of the fight and then yeah focus fire on the giant i think that's a that is exactly what i'm going to attempt to do and so uh because i can see a couple of these guys coming back so what we're going to do is I am going to craft a wall of fire. Ooh, good. And I will use my incredible drawing abilities. Okay. Uh, cause let me pop it. I never use wall of fire, but um, it's kind of my shtick. Wall of fire. There we go. Uh, so it is a fire minute. Uh, one minute. Solid surface. Uh, so it's sixty feet long, right? Yeah. So essentially. I want to run it uh, kind of up the stairs as far as I can see. So here, basically, you know, ending it up there. Roger. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. So uh, the, I think all of the ones, at least the three that I can see, will need to make the initial save. Because um, you're casting it with them in it? Uh, oh, I guess, yeah, it's only the first guy. Okay. Uh... Yeah, because I guess I can only catch That's one save. of them on top. That's right. That's right. Got him. So 31 points of fire. Ooh. That's irresistible. Got it. And that way, because basically, like, the plan is so that they can't squeeze past it. They have to go through it if they gotcha. want to come get us. Okay. And uh, bonus action, uh, we will go ahead and have the fire spirit move around a little bit. Sorry that took so long. All right. After Titus, then, we'll be the uh, low. The fire spirit. Oh. The fire spirit will just dodge because okay. I don't think it can see anything within 30 feet. Your turn, though. It's a Fomorian to the west? A giant of some sort. Okay. You can just see a giant foot. Um, well, I'll, um, can I shoot it or it's yeah, not? Yeah, you uh, see a giant foot. Yeah, you can shoot the foot for sure. Okay, I'll shoot the foot. I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark again because that's just all but guarantees to have... Take 103 points of damage and lose my Next concentration. <laughs> yeah. And uh, shoot a couple arrows at That's it. That's a hit. That's a pretty good damage. Yeah. yeah, 25 damage on that one. And that looks like a big fat 11. Uh, miss. Okay. Then the giant retreats. You hear him cursing up a storm. And next is Grell. He will retreat. Get away from that fire. He's going to be how far away? 10 feet away? 10, ten feet. All right. Then, Califon, your turn. you need a roll for me for confusion? Uh, yeah. And is this a charm or frightened effect? Dun, dun, dun. Um, confusion is enchantment. So, not, uh, no. But not charm, no. Looks like a one. Use all your movement in a random direction. So let's roll a D8 for you. D8. One, two. So you're going to move toward the fire. You won't actually go through it, though, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's you on the safe side. I don't think you'll go through it, Califon, but double check for us. If you do go through it, you move through it. If you don't, you'll end up like here. 
Uh, and you can look mm -hmm. that up during while you're everyone's taking their turn. Also, at the end of your turn, roll a saving throw again to see if you're no longer char confused. You need to All look right. up the confusion spell in D and D Beyond and see if it'll go through some dangerous terrain or not. Uh, I don't think I passed this. Okay, confusion you'll still spell. be confused. Okay, let us know when you know for sure. Grell's turn. He's gonna mm -hmm. get out of dodge. Then Commoner's turn. These guys are not confused. Ah, uh, know which way to run. I'll go over behind Jeff. He seems like he knows what he's doing. Gimbal, your turn. Well, uh, Gimbal will shoot at the Grell. Oh, we can't see him, unfortunately, Gimbal. The walls are oh, opaque. Is... Yeah. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Wall of fire is opaque, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it, it is. is. Okay. But you can fire through it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I can, I'll fire through it up with disadvantage at the last known place that I had seen it before the wall of fire went up. You just see if I hit something. You don't know real well where he was exactly. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think that he would be up that narrow tunnel straight ahead of me somewhere. You can shoot. I'll give you a one in four chance of picking the right square. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, roll a d4. See if you get a one. <laughs> and roll with disadvantage. That's 17 to hit for 10. That is a hit. <laughs> well done. <laughs> nice. And also concentration <laughs> check. And she made. All right. Uh, Gimbal's done. Commoner's turn. Go over there and hide. <laughs> and it's over. Jeff's turn. Um, are you going to... Well, uh, I'll stay where I'm chase, at. Chase after the guy. The giant? Yeah. Why? He's leaving. Exactly. Let him go. What are you doing, Jeff? Um, oh, I guess I'll do the same thing. I'll try to shoot for that grill. Uh. <laughs> Roll of disadvantage. <laughs> All right. World's unlucky as uh, uh, We'll do. Yeah, we'll do this guy. We're not. Nope. Well, unless an eight hits. Uh, one of well, the die misses. And we'll do that again. Nope. And uh, I guess that's it. All right. Uh, Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, I will. I guess Titus will go around the corner and try to see. Nothing there. There you go. You can stop there. Let me uh, turn them on. So you see a deformed giant standing nearly 20 feet tall with one gigantic bulbous eye kind of hunched over. And he looks at you as you come around the corner and he'll use his ready to action to, to do Curse of the Evil Eye on you. Super. Uh, 37 psychic damage and deformation unless you make a 14 con save. No, charisma save. Can I, can I have it be con? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you get deformed. Your speed is halved. You have disadvantage on strength and dex checks and attacks and saves. I think maybe a greater restoration would fix all this. Oh, super. Uh, so I moved there with a dash. I will move uh, the 10 feet back and be like, the giant's still there. And... Because <laughs> you chased after him. <laughs> Uh, we will bonus action to have the spirit come and move me back. <laughs> oh, I've got to make a uh, concentration check. That's the con one that I wanted to make. That's a con sec, yeah. Let's see, 36, so 18. Made it. There you go. Uh, and then uh, we will have the spirit come and take us back a little bit in the end of turn. <laughs> I hate when I search in, uh, search in the browser instead of searching in DD Beyond. Okay, confusion. Creatures use all its movement to move in a random direction and determine the direction. Yeah, I think you just ran through the wall. So, telephone, you're yeah, the side of the wall. Reddit said. Did well, Reddit say you went Reddit. through the wall? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, roll the wall damage for us, Titus. If, if I see him running towards it in a confused manner, would it be okay for me to drop it? It would have. Um, let's see, he's still confused this round. So you can drop it this round because we'll say you ran through it this round. That way we don't okay. have to rewind and have you guys. Although you guys kind of shot at those things like you did see them. It's true. <laughs> you know, so don't okay. wanna, I don't want to negate all those ones. So yeah, we'll drop the wall. Okay. So you drop the wall. Uh, your next turn, California, you're going to run through the wall again. Um, and then you get to make a save at the end of your turn. Titus did all that. And then Loam, your turn. You ran up there, Loam? Loam double moved, yeah. Okay, the giant... Six moves out to there. We'll see attack in. Uh, we'll do an evil eye on Titus. 32 psychic Titus, 14 charisma save or half. Uh, I'm going to uh, flash of genius that. Okay. To your... You made it. Uh, he's done. 
Grell's turn, and then Califon, your turn. I'm still confused. I just need to make a... Do you need a roll for me? You ran through the firewall. Uh, Titus drops yeah. it, and then... Yeah. But I didn't um, pass my last save, though. Then make your save. Um, you didn't pass your last one, because... And we said that this time you run through the wasn't wall. It, isn't it a d10? No, so what happened was, on his previous turn, he ran through the firewall, but I said, no, he, we'll say he ran through the north to the north, so he didn't go through the wall, so he'd have to rewind multiple rounds. Mm-hmm. And then this turn, right, but- he goes through the wall. You drop the wall so he doesn't get burned. And okay. then he does his wisdom save of 11 and is still confused. You need to roll, though, each time? No, that's what I'm Wait. saying. The first time, we just redid that first roll. The second roll, we used your first roll. Okay. Um, just because I didn't want to rewind the firewall. Okay. Right. Um, Grell's turn. Caliphon's turn. Grell's turn. Commoner hiding. Oh, that's the giant get close. Commoner running from giant. Two, three, four, five, six. There. Uh, Gimbal, your turn. Um, Gimbal's going to move one, two, to there. And he's going to... Oops. Sorry, I'm checking to see what the range is on Gem of Brightness. 60 feet, okay. So, uh, Gem of Brightness on the um, giant. Okay. Since he's staring at everybody with his evil eye. Yeah. Beam 15 con saved in the gate. Made it. Ah, boo. After Gimbal, Commodore running for life. Two, three, four. And then Randa over, and Jeff. Okay, I should be pretty well hidden. I read it on my high check last. Ooh. So I'll just move right there. Ooh, no. Uh, hold on. Let me precision check. Oh. 13. 13. 13 missed. That hit. There we go. And we'll uh, rip attack. So 22. DC 17. Strength saving three. Ooh, we got him. The nice. huge crash. He drops to the ground. And then back up. And-, and then after Jeff comes that. And then Titus, your turn. Uh, Titus will come take advantage of the advantage, and we will do some primal savagery on him. That hit. For, for a strong 15 points of acid. Got it. And then, bonus action, we will bring the spirit in to fiery teleport us away. Dex saving throw. Ooh, somehow he dodges it. And then, Loam, your turn. Okay, well, apparently we're fighting this guy. Well, he came back. Sure, but Why? <laughs> People shot him with bows and arrows. <laughs> All right, I'll put the hunter's mark on him, shoot him with more arrows. In the you already had the hunter's mark on him, so you don't have to spend your... Okay, well, I'd forgotten. That's um, a hit. All right, 18. 18, got it. And That's a hit, another 16 hit. more. And done. Okay, his turn. He stands up, takes that, then he moves one, two. There, and then boom, and Califon, your turn. Califon, it, it sounds like he got up and oh, you're confused. Uh, let's see what you do, Califon. With your confusion. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yep, confusion. nothing. Uh, eight melee attack, random creature in reach of none, no action. So you stand there and you're still confused. And then uh, Commander's hiding, and then Gimbal. I feel like I punched the wall at least. Um, I'll just go down here and. Uh, use my healer's kit on Titus. Okay, nice. And then hiding and Jeff. 19 hit points back for you. Thank you. Then I'll okay. come back here to protect the commoners. Tell them about Gimbal's potion emporium. So I think I got a, a 7, no. Uh, yeah, 17 I think. On your hide check? Hide. Okay. Yeah. And is he retreating? Do I know? Sound like he went a ways away. Okay. I'm going to let it go. Uh, let it go. Do I see the grail up that way? You do not. No. And I guess I'll dodge. Okay. Titus, your turn. I will move, dodge, bonus action. The spirit will do the same. End of turn. Loam, your turn. All right. Let's let's uh, let's head north here, folks. I'll uh, dodge. And then, uh, Califon, your turn. Confused. Confused. Oh, yeah. Califon, you are going to go ahead and do six. No move or action. And another save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Remember that done. one time where I just stood there the whole time? Yeah. Then Connor's hiding. Gimbal, your turn. Six to there. And I will ready a firebolt. And then Connor's hiding. And we're out of rounds. Nothing's coming down. Giant seems to have left. Mr. 
we're out of rounds, so you guys can do anything you want. Assuming we'll assume you recover somehow. I uh, cut off on oh, wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe the grill got tired of concentrating on it. He's like, oh he my said God. he's got to have saved by now. I don't know why I'm concentrating on this spell. <laughs> There's no way he rolled another one. <laughs> Not possible. All right. All right, we're ready to press on. We're moving north, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. Titus is going to hit himself with uh, at least a regular heal. Do you have crater restoration or he still hit with the ugly stick? <laughs> oh, I got smacked with the ugly stick. Uh, so if I do greater restoration, that's that's it. Like, that's the one I got. Yeah, well, I say hold on to it because, I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I'll just. You, you real, really weren't that pretty to begin with. It's, it's very Ouch. true. Ouch. So, uh, not, not that Gimbal knows. What you know, pretty is. Fleshy, uh, you know, what, what is attractive and fleshy beings anyways. Okay. All very uh, where are you going to go? I Whoops, say north. Up stairs. Yep. Okay, up the stairs. Go you ahead. You know what? How about we? How about we put the uh, the tower facing up the stairs, molded with the wall, so that the giant can't sneak up on us at least. Yeah, that's a good idea. And the commoners. And we put the inside. passengers in the inside, okay. just right. just for when we go and explore this. They go inside because we because we know there is someone behind us. Yeah, you know, for sure. Morians can't sure. teleport, can they? Oh no! It did some weird magic on Titus. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. So we do that. All right. Do you want me to... Up the stairs you go. Um, when you get up to the top of the stairs, you look into the the cavern. This this cave is barely five feet tall, uh, lurking um, oh, there right now. against the north wall, uh, like right about the middle of the room, right about here, lies a moldy backpack. Ooh. I'm sorry. Did you ping that? I didn't. See oh, that. I was on the wrong layer. North wall, right about there, is a moldy okay. backpack. Okay. Uh, Jeff will investigate. Okay. Uh, let's see here. There is some writing also you find on the wall, um, although time and moisture have mostly destroyed that writing. Um, but there's this large traveling pack by the writing, which is covering some of the wall. And when you move it aside, you can still read the writing on the wall behind the backpack. Um, the writing contains a handful of partial phrases. In Dwarven, you all speak Dwarven, right? If somebody does. Somebody does. Yeah. I do. You do. Got it. Okay. Uh, Ildith Anak, stronghold seven miles downward. Beware of the Elder Brain's attention. Significant Mind Flayer General is Oshundo. Wears high collared scarlet robe. Mind Flayer is preparing to move against Gibbet Crossing. I stole one of their mind crystals. Are there more? Maybe useful to the priests at Talhindareth. Inside the pack, you Ooh. just find scraps of leather. Um, and a crystal. The same handwriting as the other historian? Yeah, it is. Okay. The crystal is a careful mind crystal, which uh, lets you do the, Chris, the careful enchantment, I think. I'll spell. Let me check here. Did, there, there's no grells in here, or did we kill them all and I wasn't paying attention? Uh, there are none in the chamber, but you've only gone I to the middle to. of the north wall. You haven't gone around the corner. Got it. Yeah. Uh, careful. Choose up to three creatures affected by the spell. The chosen creatures automatically succeed on their saving throws against the spell. And it's a one-time magic item, so it's like a potion, roughly. Mm. It's worth 50 gold, though, after you've used it. So it's got some gold value afterwards, too. So you find all that, and the Grells do not come out after you. Mm. Okay. Moving up, I guess. You can, Yeah, you can explore. The, the Grells left. Oh. They realized they were no match for you. As you explore, you find a way out for them. Okay. Yeah, that little tunnel in the south. This is the only way to go, though, right? Until mm -hmm. oh, okay. you can go back out the main, you know, passageway and head down it deeper. Okay. If the I notes are right, seven more miles deeper. Yeah, whichever way brings us deeper. Okay. So you finish exploring this whole cave complex. You get out of there with a couple of magic items and a bunch of gold and some gold feathers, and then you head yes. deeper down into the underdark. Whoa. Uh, explore a couple more side passages that are turn out to be empty, and then finally come to another side passage that which isn't empty. And I'll put you there. Oh, are you leaving the people behind with the tower or taking them with you? Taken. I say we take I, them with us. We don't know okay. when we'll make it back this way. Okay. I um, say when we go explore a weird part like here, we set the tower up and leave them here to block anybody from ooh, trying the to entrance to the yeah. Behind you. Yeah, okay. I like that. Like to, to do a troglodyte. Okay. To pull a troglodyte on. Watch the watch for troglodytes. Okay. Um 
So this passageway, um, you see some phosphorescent fungus growing throughout the side tunnel. It ripples with iridescent colors, and the walls glisten with a thin, moist sheen of mucus. Ooh. Coming around the corner, once you get down there, I'll tell you what you see. You see uh, natural it's been steps. Hours, right? What was that? It's been hours, uh, right? Yeah, this has been about three more hours. Oh, you need paint? Uh, yeah, you are right over here. Yep, got it. Yep, this was three more hours later. Um, so, natural steps descending. You hear burbling echoes coming from up from it. <clears throat> Around the corner, you can see mud. You can see it descends Ooh. down into mud. The floor filled with a repulsive pool of mud. And then when you get a better look at it, there's gore mixed in. Gobs of flesh, bearing Ooh. eyes and teeth floating in the mud. Ew. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we put the tower up, right? Yeah. At the entrance to this? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, let's move up. You can see the far end of the mud is some stairs rising up out of it. Mm. The mud and the gore and the eyes and the mouths. And I really how don't far across is it? What was that? How far across is it? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70 feet. No, never mind. Um, what? Let me see what's on the other side. There's... You guys want me to run across and see? Uh, get, no, don't run across. Uh, I will give you. Hold on, let me get down next to you. Well, I can. I'm ninth level, so I can run across liquids. So if you want to save flight, Ugh, fine. these wings won't fly more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when when else are you going to get to use a ten foot fly? <laughs> well, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I got very excited. <laughs> My only fear is that we, if we if we slowly plot across this, that this will come up and attack us. What was the junk dealer in Star Wars Episode One? Watto. Watto. Yeah. You look like a bunch of Wattos flying around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten foot fly speed. <laughs> what y'all want to do? Republic credits. Just run across. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Take a guidance. We'll run across. All right. I'll. Uh, Dash across to the other side. Bring a rope. Oh, nope. yeah, yeah. I'll take a rope with you. So, yeah, okay. I'll take a rope. Or maybe two. Okay, Califon. Yeah, I'll probably take two. Uh, it'll be far enough. Uh, you get as far as here. Oh, okay. When uh, something happens, Jeff and Gimbal and Titus and Lone put you guys where you want to be when he gets that far across. Right here. Okay. Roll initiative, everyone. Up out what of the kind of bubble. action is it for me to have popcorn? <laughs> out, of the, out of the gurgling, bubbling slime rises up a creature that starts babbling um, as soon as it does. What's interesting? The babble walkie. Comes. All right. First person to act. So, Titus, you see this thing rising up in front of uh, Caliphon. You can hear its burbling in its crazy, gibbering sounds. What do you want to do? All right. Uh, well, that's no good. It looks like it has malice of forethought. It does. Yeah, it's coming after Caliphon. All right. Uh, we will attempt a frostbite. It's a solid two damage. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, can't say. Not even that. Yep. Uh, so, and then we will just move back to get out of the way for people that'll be more effective. Loam, your turn. Well, I guess Loam will go up to the precipice here. And move his hunter's mark onto the. Uh, what's the duration of the hunter's mark? It was three hours to get you. An hour. Hour, so oh, it's okay. Down. Then I guess it's done. Okay. Uh, an 11 is a hit. Thing is not, really? a, not a hard target. Um, okay. So 19 damage to 18. it. And that's a hit. And another 15. 15. And Califon. Um, let's see here. It's babbling incoherently when it sees any creature and not incapacitated. Creature starts turning 20 feet and hears you attend wisdom save, Califon. All right, well, we still have this goes. Oh, oh this time it. you resist, yeah. So you yeah. can ignore that gibbering. Um, also, aberrant ground, 10 feet of difficult terrain around it. Uh, so the ground starts, even though you can walk on it, it starts becoming very uneven, so it's difficult terrain within 10 feet of that guy. All right. All right, I will, I will take a walk over here. I will smack him around with my long sword. I'll miss eleven for six. Eleven hit. Okay. Um, Twenty-three for eleven, and a talon uh, for eleven for nine. Okay. And then gimbal. Um, Jeff, do you uh, do you want a ten foot fly speed? 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I'm just going to fire. <laughs> uh i'm going to um do built for success on that um and add a where you built for there we go three so that's going to be a 13 to hit that's a hit six fire yep still alive oh. still gibbering then you see another one burble up and moves to there and then you see another one burble up and moves to there and then spits blinding spittle 15 feet five foot radius so it's gonna get jeff and gimbal and loam uh 13 deck save for the three of you or you'll be blind uh i'm going to wait do i have flash releases i will i've only got one left i'm gonna use it and sp- i'll use my inspiration on this yes well done i'll use yeah. my inspiration all right uh then jeff you are starting within 10 mm-hmm. feet of this thing gibbering make a wisdom save okay. DC you have advantage. So you made it. DC was 10. Okay. All right. Um, I'll try to attack the far one. Oh, that's also a dead. DC 10 strength save as the ground is shaking under your feet. Oh, no. That I'm not so good at. Hey. Made it. No. Oh, yeah, barely. Ooh. Okay. Right. Um, I'm going to attack the far one. Okay. That should kill it. 16 for 14. Killed it. Okay. And then what's the little icon on the guy to the north he spit oh okay just me tracking him spitting uh, i'll uh attack that guy i'm gonna now we'll see does that hit 11 12 11 a 12 12 hit for 17 17 got it and then we will back up okay then another Hi. one rises up out of the muck there it goes two and then spits on you califon or toward you 13 decks in California be blind. No problem for you. And then two more rise up. Moving toward Califon. And then the other one here is going to spit to hit Gimbal and Loam. Dex save DC 13 or be blind for the two of you. Um, I'm blind. Okay. Put the blind marker on you. You'll be blind until the end of his next turn. So put a one on that blind marker. You can track which one did it to you. Loam's not blind. After it spits, it's going to close to here. And then multi-attack in... Loam, what oh, did sorry, did it spit also bite loam critting you loam? You were just the target of the Ow. day. 31 points of piercing knocks you prone. DC, unless you make a DC 10 strength save, no problem. Okay, oh. that's all of them. That runs over. Titus, your turn. Titus, you're within 20 feet of one gibbering, so make your gibbering check. DC 10 of wisdom, no problem. All right, uh, move in to get a whoa. That that looks a little bit different than when I last saw it. Uh, we will action to summon a friend right to there. That's on mine. Oh, one made a save, but two failed. Five fire to the north one, and five fire to the south one. All right, and then bonus action. We will tell it to fiery teleport, and I will move back my tiny little bit of movement. Caught them both free fire. And it will be 20 feet up in the air in that square. And then... Loam, your turn. Loam, you're starting within the gibbering to so make a DC 10 wisdom save. You're good. Oh, you're also starting within the aberrant zone, aberrant ground zone within 10 feet of it. Make a DC 10 strength save. You're good. Okay. Well, let's attack. Which one are you going for, Loam? Uh, one next to me. Oh, short sword. Okay. That's a hit. Um, is this the one you hunters marked? I forget. Uh, I don't have hunters marked at the moment. Okay. So 11 to that one. Yes. That's a hit. Plus, oh, they're easy to hit. Oh, super easy, yeah. Seven for that one, and six more. Okay, after Loam, Califon, you're within the gibbering zone, so make a wisdom save, DC 10. Mm-hmm. You're good. Ooh. You are it not within 10 feet, so you don't have to worry about falling ground. Opportunity attack. attack, I'm moving back. You're going to move back, it's going to bite you. Uh, da, 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 da. It does not have advantage for any reason, so it missed. You're doing Califon. All right, I'm going to move over here. Uh, 19 for 15. Um, 11 for seven and, and then I'll talent it again for, uh, 23 for five. Okay. Uh, it's not doing enough damage. So I'll move back after Califon. Gimbal, you're within the gibbering and you're blind. Um, gibbering. DC 10 with some safe. Ooh. Oh no. Uh, let me roll D8 for you. See what you do. Eight. Make. 
Now, a melee attack versus a random creature in reach or do nothing if can't. Nothing is a reach, so you just do nothing this round. Okay. You're also within 10 feet of it, so let's see if you fall down or not. Uh, it's a DC 10 strength save. So yeah, you're prone as well. And we got one to the south here, 15 feet. So it's going to go one, two, and then spit toward Titus and Loam. So Titus and Loam, blinding spittle check, DC 13 dex save to avoid being blind. Loam's good. Titus is good. Uh, that's it for everyone. Then the next Jibbering Mouther's turn. It, let's see if it recharges its spittle. It does there. Spit on Titus and Loam. DC 13 dex save to avoid being blind for the two of you. Titus is good. Loam is good. It's done, and it's used its spittle. And then Jeff, you are within the sound of these things, so make a gibbering check. DC 10 wisdom save. You're good. And you're outside of their aberrant ground, so you don't have to make that check. All right. Move. Uh, oh, attack the northernmost one, I guess. Yeah, we'll see if that hits. Oh, ten, I'm pretty well hidden, I think. 10. Uh, eight, yeah, that is a hit for 19 for 14. Yep. Okay. And try that again. Yeah. 16 for 17. Got it. Oh, man. Are you serious? Okay. And then move back here and hide. All right. This guy, see what he charges. Is not. He moves to there, but that's a dash. He moves to there, that's a dash. And then the one on Gimbal, see if he recharges his blinding spittle. Does not. Moves to there and bites Gimbal. Uh, 20 to hit you, Gimbal. Yep. 22 piercing. And you're already prone, so no need to save that. And now you can see, Gimbal. And it's just in time for your turn. Or no, it's not your turn. Uh, Titus' turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to look out here. Oh, I'm sorry. Back and... to Titus. Uh, you got to make a gibbering check. DC 10 wisdom oh, save. Yes. You're good. You All can't right. even fail a DC uh, 10 wisdom save. You don't have to roll anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's see. With that, uh, we will move my little horrible speed up to there, and we will release another Burning Hands at these three. Nice. First level. Uh, horrible. Let's see. I think that's... Oh, There's that's two ones. Two so that ones. should be uh, a ten. 10, 17? then. Plus 17, yeah. So 17. 17. Okay, so the first one failed and died. The second two actually made their saves. So gotcha. eight, well, both of know, them. Broken clocks are right twice a day. Yeah. And then... Uh, Bonus action, we will have the spirit fly to here now that Gimbal is uh, not blind, and we will fiery teleport away. Got them both. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're not going to go by everybody else because we've seen that show before. End of turn. Loam, your turn. Uh, Jim Ring first, DC 10 wisdom save. You're good. You're muted if you're talking, but I'll assume you're shooting the first one. In 14, 15 psychic. And I'll shoot it a second time. And killed it. Okay, then Caliphon, you are in gibbering range, so make a gibbering check. Wisdom, DC 10. You're good. Your turn. You are now right. within uh, uh, aberrant ground range. I'll move up, and I will strike the one to the north of me with okay. four, 17 for 8. 8, got it. Um, I will strike it again. 11 for... Uh, but I'll put a death strike on here. Don't see it, so I'll just roll a d6. So 12 points of damage. Got it. And I will... <clears throat> yeah, so I'll, I will tell in the one below it. I mean, right to do left. Uh, 16 for 7. Uh-huh. All right, and we'll see what happens when I walk out here. So okay. I'll take my full movement. Okay. One, two, All right. Three. Yeah, you just sink down to, like, your waist or so. So it'll be difficult to rain. 11. All right, so I slowly, dramatically dip to my knees. All, All right, ways. Gimbal, your turn. Uh, Gimbal, you are out of the range of everything. As Gimbal likes it. Um, all right, Gimbal's going to stand up, and then uh, Gimbal will firebolt the thing uh, for 14 fire damage. Got it. Okay. He's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. He charges at Spittle. Go to there, spit to hit Jeff and Loam. Jeff and Loam, you gotta make a dexterity saving throw. DC 13. Loam's good. Jeff is good. Uh, then Jeff, your turn. Jeff, you're starting inside the gibbering, so roll a d10 wisdom save. You're good. Uh, yeah. And. Because you're king of the I, goblins, that's why you're good. That's right. 
I should be hidden. 18 for 13. That hit. Yeah, over 20 for... Eh, we'll throw uh, my last uh, Fury of the Small. So, 18. 18 killed it. Yes. All right. And we will say you can kill those other two before they can get to you, because they are dead slow. You guys got all <laughs> the range in the world. <laughs> so that one dies, and that one dies. This uh, I'm never going to get this out of my feathers. Yeah. Yeah, this is worse than when you were at the uh, chicken farm and almost got pulled into the machines. (laughs) Chicken goo Uh, everywhere. Give myself a boost to the old healer's kit uh, eventually. And then uh, I'm going to, so that's going to be uh, 18. I'm going to take my uh, uh, flying potion. Okay. (laughs) Fly across that pit as fast as a gibbering mouther can. That's exactly right. So, you do know that that does more to you right now. Yeah, click your button. The, uh, yeah, click your button. Uh, it'll click your elixir button. It'll tell you what you get. Love and temporary hit points. Nice. Who's laughing now? Right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Lone, uh, do you want, I'm going to give Lone my other flying one uh, so both of us can fly across. All right. And Appreciate you get uh, 13 temporary hit points with that Lone. Titus is going to wade through it as disgusting as it is. Okay. And someone carry Jeff because. For, for sight, like two feet tall. <laughs> I'm hovering over. You could jump on my back. All right. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, natural stairs climb up out of the pool <laughs> and head to the south. Creeping along. Right, let's move. You can stop and get to about here, Jeff. Um, I'm sorry, I did not see that. Uh, right. Okay. There. Right. Give me your march order, everyone. Behind Jeff. Well, it's a dead end. Turn around, guys. All right. So let's see here, Jeff. You uh, pass perception at 16. So you will see a little bit further back. Eight. Okay, just as the you can start seeing to the edges of the chamber, you see a creature over here. Uh, looks like a enormous beetle-like thing, but with legs of like a chicken and a head of a chicken and huge, enormous slicer-type bone appendages on his arms. Um, the chamber that he's in has stalagmites and stalactites uh, all bent as though made of clay, filling the room with thick hooks from floor to ceiling. Um, and this is, ironically, a hook horror. Refer to these um, loam of the Underdark. Rule initiative, everyone. You can also, Jeff, make out one behind it. And the first person to act is going to be, oh, wow, it for them. Two, three, four, six. One. Comes to there. It's a dash, and it looks like it's within you're within its reach now. So if you were to pull back, you think it could swipe you. And then you see, or you don't see, one come around the corner from the darkness. Two, five, six to there, and go after Jeff with its hooks. First one's a seventeen, Jeff, but your armor class barely. Is, oh, it is seventeen. Yeah, Sixteen 17, piercing, yeah. and the second hook. Is another 17 for 15 piercing. And then, Jeff, your turn. Um, I will. Bonus action, disengage. Back up. Okay. Um, I'll attack the one to the north. Oh, no. That's eight for 12. I'm not even going to try to precision attack that. I'll uh, try again. Unless that was a hit. I doubt There's it. a one on the die, so it wasn't a hit. Oh, yeah, right. Um, yeah, let's try it. Precision attack. So 11, 12, 13, 14? Uh, 14 missed. All right. Then that is it. Okay. The next thing you see coming swooping in toward you out of the darkness is this. Not that. Um, this. Ah! Uh-oh. So out of the back of the cave, the dark recesses of the back of the cave comes forward. That thing. That is such an awesome picture. <laughs> Uh-huh. there and as it gets to there it will moan as a bonus action One, two, three, five. this will get everyone um 30 psychic damage and frightened till the end of his next turn a 16 wisdom save negates all so it's either 30 or zero and if i'm you... going to use my last flash of genius on this okay Oh, yes, yet another one. Uh-huh. So put the heart marker on you guy if you fail. 
and take 30 damage. <clears throat> so Titus, 30 and a heart. Fire guy, 30 and a heart. Kimball made it. Caliphon made it. Jeff, you fail, Jeff, or you make it? I fail. fail yeah. I thought I'd take 15. You only take 15 because you resist. Yeah. And Loam, you made it. All right. So nothing if you made it. That is its turn. It's done. Gimbal, your turn. Uh, Gimbal will launch some uh, uh, pixie powder party popper to get those two hook cores. Okay. Give him some deck saves. It's a couple failures. Both of them illuminate and advantage on all attacks against them. I'm going to move back one, two, three. And then Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and since I'm scared, I'll go ahead and conjure up something that isn't scared. Okay. And we will use our action to bring a fourth level elemental summon. And uh, I'll give you two guesses what element it's going to be. Fire. I think you're only going to need one. Fire, fire. And we will go ahead and attack. Uh, they're both undamaged still? Uh, yeah. Jeff right. missed twice. All right. Well, then we'll go ahead and start at the bottom. That almost never happens. That hit 11 and... fire. They seem to take all of it. That will be actually. We got to do another D eight. Uh, you, you know what? They are fairy fired. I will hold off on the D eight. Okay. I'm gonna hope for the crit. Uh, crit fish. Uh, hit again for nine more. Four, Four D eight. Ten. Ten. Oh, because there's a one, one on that die. It's a spell. Here we go. Okay. After Titus. And uh, yep, that. And then the the spirit. Yeah. Is just within range, so we'll do a straight shot. On the purple one, or the, okay. the one that's damaged. Okay. And missed. missed. Yep. Okay. One more hook horror comes out of the darkness, the far end of the cavern. Six, seven to there. And then this hook horror stay there. And then Califon, your turn. Um, within my range, um, to there, I will hit the one to the bottom. Uh, 25 for 14. I'll hit him again. For 25 for 12, I will bonus action, spend a key point, do flurry of blows. My key points do I have left? Make sure I have key points first before I spend them. Uh, right? Yep, I got plenty. We got six. And two talents to the one um, to the south. Oh, sorry, one between. Okay. Uh, so south is a hit for five. For five, and the one above it is 24 for eight. Got it. All right, I'll move back behind Loam. Loam, your turn. Okay, I will move up here, and then I will attempt to use Summon Barrage to hit this. What? Ooh, wow, you're going to hit it. Wow. Conjure Barrage. Yeah. Ooh, good roll, too. 16 points of damage, 14 dex save for half. Going to get basically everyone with a 60 foot cone. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all four of them. Um, four dex saves, 14. So one, two, three, four. Everyone made it. So they all take eight. Damn good save. Yep. Then after Loam, we'll be at the end of the finish your move where you want Loam. The hook horror by the elemental will attack the elemental with the hook missing and missing. And then the hook horror to the north of the elemental will step forward, back loam, two hooks, uh, missing, and hitting loam, 24 for 11 points damage loam. And then Jeff, your turn. Um, can I see the other, the crazy looking thing? Uh, no. Okay. So no. I'm not, I don't have disadvantage. Uh, right. Um, not in sight. No disadvantage. I'll attack the southern hook horror. Okay. Um, yeah, precision attack. So 12, 18? Um, you, you got a 21 it's on 21 the 21, actually, roll. on the first roll. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not disadvantaged, yeah. right? Yeah. And he's very fired. So 21 for 17? Oh, right, right. Yeah, 21 for 17. Killed him. And then the other one. Hit by miles. 6 for 12 menacing. Uh, so 16, sorry. Uh, wisdom save. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Got him. All right, then. Be it. Next is after Jeff. Oh, the mutate's turn. Okay. Let's see if he recharges his moan. Nope, does not recharge the moan. He's going to do phantasmal duplicates for illusory copies of him till the end of his next turn. Grants the advantage to attack him. Here's what this thing looks like a dark leathery cloak merged with the rotted corpse of his last meal, resulting in a hideous puppeteering aberration. And that skeleton that he's merged with is that of a dwarf, it looks like. Um, 
He will fly on in by speed of four, six, there. And he'll do multi-attack and corpse swing and tail times two on the elemental. So he swings that corpse onto the elemental. Uh, 19 to hit, 26 bludgeoning. Uh, poison, I think the elemental's probably immune to poison, right? It is, yep. Okay, and then yes. tail attacks. First tail attack is a miss. Second tail attack is a hit for 16 slashing. And it is done. Gimbo, your turn. You're muted if you're talking. I was muted. Uh, he's going to show off a, a new attachment on his um, arm that allows him to deliver multiple doses of Gimbal's Miracle Elixir at the same time and hit Mask Healing Word. Oh, nice. Uh, on everyone. So that's going to be uh, eight uh, hit points back to everybody. Nice. I, th I think you need to add up to six it's creatures. Fine. It's up to six creatures. So you want to pick which six? I guess you can leave off Caliphon and get everyone. Okay. Well, Caliphon's perfect. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gimbal's yeah. done. Finish move where you want, Gimbal. We heal 12, right? What's that? We heal 12, right? Is it? It's, uh, well, it's, I, I rolled an eight. Um, I think that that's already. So built for right healing on. word, an alchemist adds twice their int mod. Yeah, I think that that's built into the eight. The, that actually uh, is that... not built in. Oh, okay. I'm assuming your your modifier is four, right? I don't think yeah, it's yeah. twice their int mod. Well, so it adds the spell, the caster, and then yes. you get to add your int yeah. mod. So it's not, it doesn't say twice, but it's yeah. effectively twice. Effectively twice. Yeah, I don't think I built that in. So uh, four back on that, four extra on that. All right, everybody gets extra for you. Gracias, senor. Excellent. Okay. Um, so y'all done, Gimbal? Uh, yeah, I'm done. I'll move back. So I'm so okay. concentrating. Titus, your turn. Did you want to like firebolt something? Oh yeah, healing words a uh, bonus action. Yes, I do want to firebolt some. Thank you. Sorry, uh, I'm not used to casting that. <laughs> uh, firebolt the one that is. Uh, That's a fire hit. Eighteen fire. 18. Got it. Okay. No. Or's turn. Uh, this one. Uh, Titus's turn. Titus's turn. Right. Sorry. Uh, so Titus is going to uh, produce a flame at the fairy fired horror. Okay. Advantage on that. A hit. For 19. 19 fire. Got it. And then uh, we will have the fire spirit is going to move. Or bonus action, I will tell the fire spirit to move up. It will get its turn. It's going to fiery teleport to get the uh, creepy looking thing and the hook horror okay. and the summon because it, why not? And then it'll teleport kind of back ish. Okay. Okay. The horror takes all of the five. The creepy thing. Takes all of the five. All right. And then uh, it teleports back to there. And then the summon is going to try to finish off the hook horror. That did it. Uh, and then second will be on this uh, creepy thingy. Okay. I have disadvantage on this because of its uh, phantasmal duplicates. There you go. Oh, that hit, though. And uh, we will have it move up a little bit. All to right. Try to tank end of turns. Then. Right after Titus is the first horror. The one it just moved up to. We'll try and take out the elemental. Multi attack in. First hook on the elemental is a miss for the 12. Second hook is a hit with the 22 for 9 piercing. And then the next horror will come there. Attack the elemental with the hook. Hit for 17. Done. And it's out of movement. Then Califon, your turn. Califon will move up on the mutate. Disadvantage on these attacks because of the multiple duplicates of it. Um, We'll move up here on the mutate and uh, throw the javelin at the hip hook core behind it within 30 feet. So it's straight up uh, 16. Oh, I should have done the other one, but 16 did. There it is. For you would seven missed, points you would of have damage. The first one anyway. So it's going to be because um, the first one was disadvantaged because you're adjacent to this one doing a ranged attack. So it would have been 11 to hit. And the second okay. one you rolled would have been a one on the die, so either way you would have missed. That and, works for me. And then um, 16 lightning damage to both of them, 13 dex save for half dex save mm -hmm. on the hook or made it, so he takes eight. And then creepy cloaker, mutated cloaker, dex save. Um, it's a 10 save for half. Uh, he only takes half if he fails, uh, so he takes also eight. Okay, got it. All right, perfect. Uh, and then I will, uh, Alan, uh, the mutate, uh, for a, uh, 
I don't know. I want to bump that up. No, 13 is fine. The um, hurling the lightning is actually an action. Mm -hmm. It's not just one of your attacks. Pretty yeah, sure so it's much. an action. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to bonus yeah. action. The talent point. Okay, with your yeah. key. That lets you yeah. do that. Okay. Um, 8, 13. 13 is a miss. No. And then I will disengage. I think it gets an opportunity because I didn't hit him. As long as you attack him, I think you're good. Right? Oh, okay. With, with yeah. a mobile. Uh, that's kind of fun. Loam, your turn. All right, I think Loam is going to try summoning a fae. Oh, cool. Uh, so this one, ha a few being fae, okay. Yeah, well, I'll summon it there, and then I'll teleport here, and then it will attack. With advantage, so this will be a straight-up attack. Uh, that's a hit for 12 piercing and 5 force, so 17 damage from your fuming fae. And that's uh, that's all. Okay, that round's over. Then Jeff, your turn. Uh, okay, this is, I'm going to try to move. Uh, I think I'm out of sight here, and I'm going to try to hide. Okay. Aha! Attack the cloaker thingy. Okay, nice. straight up because of his duplicates. Ah! 12 is a miss. Dang it, let's try that again. 15 is a hit. All right, and we will do my last maneuver. I'll try to, uh, so that's for 19. I'm going to try to frighten him. And you got him. He is menaced. And then I will, you know what? Let's action surge. 15 uh, hit again for 12 more. And I hit again for 12 more. All right, and then I'm done. All right, mutate's turn. Let's see if he recharges his moan. Does not, so he'll do his Phantasmal Duplicates as a bonus. Then he'll multi-attack Corpse Swing on the little Fey guy. 22 for 28 bludgeoning. Okay. Fey is not immune to poison, so a poison save, DC 16. Would be poisoned for a minute. Not poisoned. And then he'll um, some multi-attacking Corpse Swing once. Tail stab on the guy, 17 slashing. And then tail on Loam. That's a miss. And then flying. Doesn't he miss, though? He missed Loam, yeah. Well, no, doesn't the mutate isn't he frightened, so he takes the one? Um, actually, you might be right. Yeah, yeah, I'm I got him frightened. Okay. Uh, what's the phase armor class? Um, 15. Okay, the fail still be there. Yeah, the fail still be there. He can take attack opportunity as the guy's leaving. Uh, 16 is a hit for 12 piercing and for force is 16. Got it. And then Gimbal, your turn. All right, Gimbal's going to come down here. And he's going to launch another uh, Pixie Powder Party Popper. This one's nice. going to be pink. Uh, north one get... failed. South one, I don't know what your DC is. Uh, do, do, do. And 16, south one made it. All right, boo. North one is oh. very fired. Uh, Titus, your turn. All right, uh, we will go ahead and... don't like that guy moved. Uh, we will just produce a flame at the fairy fired one. Okay. I'm going to crit his butt for horrible damage. There uh, are two oh, ones in that damage. Yeah, I know. There'll be 16 and 6 is 22 points of irresistible fire. 22. Got it. And then uh, we will bonus action have the uh, fire spirit uh, just go up and teleport back uh, from them and end up pretty much in the same spot. North one failed. Took seven. Then the horror's turn. One to the north. Close. Attack the face spirit with the hook. Only an 11. And then second attack. Only a 10. And then the horde. This is the best the tank we've ever had. Come to there and attack the face. Oh, finishes it off there. And uh, then reaches a long hook over to wood. hit Loam. I'm sorry, Dave. That's a miss on you, Loam. Then Califon, your turn. All right. I'll move up in the line here, right where the uh, fae was at. Uh, 26 for 13. 18 on the northern one, uh, 28 for 8 on the northern one, and then Alan on the one to the, the south, that will be uh, 16 for 6. Got it. Roger. Loam, your turn. Hey, Loam. We'll take a couple of shots. 20. 20 is a hit. 14. And, and finish 11. Six. We're missing. Oh, that's a hit, because you had to vantage. You killed him. Okay. And it's over. Jeff, your turn. Uh, moving back, hiding, and attacking that southern hook horror. Okay. 18 is his perception. Okay. That's a 12. 12 miss. 16. A hit. All right. For 15. That is it. Mutate's turn. See if he recharges his bone. Does not. You don't see him come around the corner. Gimbal, your turn. 
gimbal's going to move down to here and um he's going to cap flame he's going to throw out a ball of flaming plasma nice and ram it into that uh the core all right the core tries to dance all the way it does takes half of whatever you roll uh eight fire but that's going to be uh 12 fire Twelve fire six uh, to the, got it and then let me find that little okay titus your turn all right uh titus is going to produce a flame actually I'm gonna... that is uh, a hit for 12 points of fire got it uh and then we will have the spirit hakalugi and uh miss horribly but he's gonna go hang out in the flaming in spirit. the fire nice all right the core will um attack the spirit first uh critting uh for yeah he is 23 damage he survives nice thanks to the healing word earlier he'll do it again holy shit no oh, what? Hacks. Hacks. oh wow yeah <laughs> What are the odds of one in twenty to the fourth? Let's see, one in one hundred and sixty thousand times that happened. Um, yep. Horror. Then we'll move away from the fire to there it, and be done. Couldn't fire. have happened to a nicer oh, fire spirit. Like there and be done. Uh, Califon, your turn. Well, I'm a little scared of it, but I'll move up anyways. Um, twenty two for fourteen. That's a hit. Uh, sixteen for eight. That's a hit and killed him. Um. There was two movement. I will move to here. Uh, all right. I will see him. All right. Then I will move back right here <laughs> and tell everybody that he's around the corner. Loam, your turn. Around okay. Post. Well, Loam will look for this thing. This is a flaming sphere, so it's damaging yeah. to me. Don't right? want to be next to that. Right? I want to be there. Uh, so let's just, um, you know what? I'm going to use that hunter's mark because. All right. uh, that looks like a big miss. I love it. Yep. And it's got duplicates too, so disadvantage on the shots. That's a hit, though. Looks like a hit. Yeah. So, Six, 21. 21. Yeah, 20. Okay, got First it. Damage. After Loam, that's in the round. Jeff, your turn. Okay, moving up. Uh, how close can I be to that flaming sphere? Five feet. I mean, you want to be 10 feet away to not take damage. Oh. At the end of uh, your turn. Nope. I'll dodge. Move to their dodge, mutates turn, see if he recharges his moan. Da, 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 does not. Um, he will do the duplicates and come one, two, three, four, five, six, fly down to there. Um, he's um he's flying above the ground by so the base of him is at ten feet, be above out of the range of the fire, which means he wouldn't be able to hit Califon unless he had reach, which he does have reach with his tail. So he'll multi attack with his tail. Four times on Califon. 16. Califon is a, what? Are you Miss. a 15 right now? Or 17 right now? I'm at 17. 17, okay. One attack. Two attacks. Three attacks. Oh, One nice. hit for 14 God, slash. I too quick. Uh, Gimbal, your turn. That's still really impressive. Yep. Uh, can you center me? I'm sorry. Yeah. I had to refresh and I lost it. Okay. Um, so it did it end its turn next to that fire then? It's up above the ground. It's flying. Oh. So its base is 10 feet off the ground. Can I, can Flaming Spear go up, or does it have to stay on the ground? It's staying on the ground. All right. Um, oops. Then I am going to cast Melf's Acid Arrow at it. Mm, nice. 21. Hit. For 8 plus 4 is 12 damage. Okay, got it. I love how you have that macro written. Later damage. Later damage. <laughs> Okay, after Gimbal, Titus. All right, Titus is about done with this guy. Right. Lightning bolt. I wish. Our word kill. Uh, Titus will use his last first level spa slot and uh, is going to burning hands this guy. You know what? Oh. He made him upset. We'll use a second level slot. Second level. What? Oh my gosh. Well, oh, you no. know, at least I think that's two ones. You are. There's two ones in the main role. Your guy's gone, isn't he? Yeah, just two ones. Yep. So uh, that will be a seven. No, it'll be uh, 11 because I 11. said second level. All right. Here's his deck save. DC 16. Failed it. He's got a void, which means uh, subject to save for half. Take zero on save and half it fails. He takes five. Oh, so close. Califon. All right, Loam. Nice. Take us home. Califon will hopefully finish the deal. 
So Caliphon walks up the wall. Yeah, that's right. And walks then up the wall. slashes this guy with his long sword and drops him into the burning flames. And he's defeated. Yeah. You're able to pull apart the body that he was like Jesus. with, and the body's of a dwarven, uh, some sort of dwarf. Mm. Um, ah, shoot. <laughs> um, I missed that he was ranting telepathically to you in common. So you all like compare notes because you all heard in your heads his voices while you're fighting this thing. And at first you thought you were just crazy, but then others, someone else let on that they heard it as well. And um, these are what the things that you guys heard when you compare notes with each other. <clears throat> the far realm gives great power to those who accept it. Look how graceful I am. A great empire will rise once again under the unstoppable mind flayers who have the power of the far realm at their command. I can feel their strength growing. Magical stones from the surface will empower the rise of a new mind flayer empire. Brain speed the brain pool. What are those human prisoners for, I wonder? The cloaker then cackles wildly. Ilvash arises. The cloaker mutate doesn't actually know who Ilvash is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a couple times during the fight, uh, while, especially specifically while he was hiding, um, it instead uttered one of the following statements. And this was in Dwarven, not common. So, Caliphon, you were the one close to him when he was hiding around the corner, so you heard these things. Uh, mm. You're pretty sure no one else actually heard him, but these things were in common. I faked my death because too many eager scribes would follow me into danger, but my death was real when I ventured too close to Ilithnok, yet I am still here, and I don't know why. The Mind Flayers intend to ravage the whole Underdark. I don't wish ill on people in Gibbet Crossing, though we have little in common. I still have time to warn them. The one in the Scarlet Robe Ushundo is gathering forces to assault Tal Hendreth. I must warn the priests that the mind flayers are coming. Mm -hmm. So let's see what treasure you find in here. And this will be the last. This is where we wrap it up. Because the next encounter is the gates to the uh, mind flayer city. Mm. So you'll get an extended rest here if you like. Right. (laughs) A long rest? An extended rest, yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Recharge your items one time if you used any charges. And this guy's treasure, he has with him a rapier of significant quality. Plus two Ooh. rapier. Nice. So we got a bell branch, a plus two rapier. We have a uh, Kyoten's ointment, careful mind I assume crystal. We are, I assume we are not leveling up. Nope, still be that level next time. So here is all the treasure. Uh, anyone who wants any of those five items, roll a d20. Yeah, that's a strong one. And since you're ninth level, you can have a maximum of five. So if you need to drop one to take one, let me know when you take one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for the ointment. You have a maximum of nine consumables. The ointment counts as either one per minute or four consumables. Um, first person looks like it is RL Caliphon. Yeah, I'll take the ointment, please. Next person is Gimbal. What does the mind crystal do? It lets you cast a careful spell, which means you can choose up to three creatures affected by the spell, and they automatically save. So you could do a, a party poppers with your party in the area and exclude three of your party. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but yeah. I don't want to drop them. Oh, you know, I don't know that I'll use the link. It, it, and you can use as many times as you want, or is that a... a it's a one-time item. It's a one-time item. Okay, so then it would be a consumable. It's a consumable, yeah. All right, I'll take the careful mind crystal. Then next, it looks like Loam. Jeff, you don't want uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pass. Okay. I'll take that rapier, and I'm going to have to drop my wand of magic detection. Okay. So there's now a wand of magic detection in addition to the others. Uh, Titus, do you want any of those items? Uh, I guess uh, since I'm the only person that can use it, I'll take the bell branch. And then you get a pick again. you want any other items? Uh. We have no. the, what do we have left? Um, Nothing. The wand of magic detection. That's wand of magic detection. Oh, true. If you've got less than five permitted items. Uh, sure, I'll pick it back up just in case. We okay. Need. And uh, let's see. At the at the end of the long rest, does the can the ointment end my curse? Uh, let's see. I forget if the key. I know it heals like a bunch of stuff. Nope, just poisoned and cured disease. And let me double check what it. Let me make sure I'm right about for Morian, and it's not just lesser restoration. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, I'm going to cast lesser restoration on uh, him. This is actually Gimbal's uh, restorative reagents. 
um, <laughs> they are uh, being mass produced um, with the help of Gimbal's many sponsors. Oh, the, um, the transform creature can repeat the saving throw whenever it finishes a long rest. But nothing short of uh, the restoration of the greater type? I'm double checking. Curse, Curse of the my... evil eye. It might be removed. Curse might do it. Uh, the creature magically twists into form again. Evil race. It it's magical curse. So we'll say anything that can remove a curse can also do it. Oh, you don't have uh do you didn't uh Tom, I take you did not do a macro for my re eight my res, res, lesser restoration. It should just be a lesser restoration spell, right? It it is. The restorative reagents is lesser restoration. Uh, I did not add it to your spell list. Okay. okay. Well yeah. I cast less restoration on them. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you need something that can remove a curse, and to remove a curse, I think greater restoration. I don't think lesser does it though. It does not, but it won't stop me from trying. <laughs> yep. Okay. So. And and it trying to convince Titus that it did work, uh, and that it's in his mind that he still looks as ugly as he did. So you want to make your one check on a save. You want to you can use your inspiration to start the adventure tomorrow, and if nope. you don't make it, you can take a greater restoration and do it automatically. I will just, because I still have my fifth level slot before I go to bed, and Titus needs his beauty sleep. So we'll, <laughs> beauty sleep, nice. <laughs> we, will, we will just, yeah, because I ain't going to get so much beauty sleep looking like that. But did you have greater restoration prepped? Yeah. Oh, then you're good to go? It's, it's auto-prepped. I, I think I have to. Oh, is that Didn't your I... uh, high-level? Um... Wasn't it? I don't think it oh, is. No, it isn't. Oh, crap. Yeah, no, I think you have to do it tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Well, make your save, though. Then you wouldn't have to do it. All right. Uh, yeah, and I guess I'll use my inspiration for there this. There you go. Session, right? So you'll start without it if you make your save. Either way, you'll start uh, without it. Charisma. Yep. Here it goes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be near Gimbal making eye contact. You want to use one of your uh, things, Gimbal? What's that? You want to oh, use uh, one of your save helpers? Starting out, starting out the, to tomorrow, so I'll have one less tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. So, uh, flash of inspiration. You got it. You made Gracias. it. Yes. Okay. Um, no game next Tuesday. I'm out of town on work, so we play again in two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Two weeks. All right. Okay. It'll still be nine level. You don't need to send me your characters because I got your magic item changes, so I can just update that real quick. Thanks. Tom. Awesome. All right, Thank guys. You. Thanks, Tom. Thanks Thank for you. playing. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.